vitamin gummies and medicine. Mm. Good soup. <laughs> Good soup. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, ho, 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 ho. Hello, Lily. How was dinner? Hello, it was nice. Oh my God, that was so. Oh my God, it was so cute. I have to tell you in a bit, and I want to take away the story for like chat just yet. It was so cute. Oh my goodness, Master, thank you. Mm -mm, so cute. Uvu voice, please. Okay. Uvu. <laughs> Uvu. Wait, I'm starting. To... Oh, I'm starting. To... <laughs> I'm starting to score. I was deafened. I didn't know. <laughs> Oopsie. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Damn, thank you for the three. Actual pimping. I was deafened. How would I? I was. Probably still had the background noise of, of Tarkov. <laughs> <laughs> oopsie daisy. Oopsie, oopsie. <laughs> Just undeafened. No, no, I don't play Tarkov, but I, I really enjoy my mods playing Tarkov. I, I watch my mods and friends and Buska and everyone play Tarkov. I could never play this game. I would get so frustrated. I just play it. Final Fantasy and sexy ship girl rifle game instead. <laughs> I could never, bro. If I was good at the genre itself, sure, maybe, I don't know. But not like this. I'm fucking. I don't know, touch that game. I wouldn't touch the game of like a 10 foot pole. <laughs> Thank you so much. Your tour as well. What the heck? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good thing to watch during my lunch break at work. Yo, what you got for lunch? What your lunch on? What your lunch on? Mama Baba Bow She gets distracted every time I ask about our craft while shit. Ma ma be. Thank you so much for tier 3 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you What the fuck? Maybe I'll I'll, I'll, I'll reach that properly in a bit I'm, I'm, I'm setting up the stream it's starting soon for a reason. I got things to do and stuff to post. Armpit hair to shave. You can read? 
But when is next RL craft stream? I don't know. Depends on what chat wants. Emperor! Thank you for the do. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it depends on what chat wants. I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of ten. Why? That one was decent. It was clean. It wasn't nasty. It wasn't foamy. It had it had mass. It was maybe short, but chat. You out of all people should know best that it isn't always about size and how long something lasts to make it good. You know. <laughs> Can afford whatever I can afford. <laughs> so metal, stop it! If you can barely afford to donate to Reno, then don't. Caps for you. Thank you so much, Samusin. Crazy Craft is better than RL Craft, personally. It has some very unique mods and it's a lot easier. Well, I think the difficulty is part of the fun in RL Craft. Though it depends. Uh, some things are not difficult for being difficult. I I have to... I I really enjoy... Lazy, uh, not Daisy Craft, what the fuck. I really enjoy RL Craft. Still do. But some things are difficult for the purpose of just being, like... Inconvenient. Like, there's so much difficulty in inconvenience, if that if that makes sense. Like, um... Ah, how do I explain that? There's just a lot of inconvenience where, like, there is no skill level. There, there isn't a difficulty at it. It's just, it's just inconvenient. <laughs> that's all there is about it. Inconvenience. That That's kind of it. You're like artificial difficulty to waste time. Yes, that's a thank you, Tam Tam. That's the word. Yes. Like, like, th there is a couple just genuine time wasters in there that are just like, you're not making it difficult. This is the whole point of this is to waste time. <laughs> it has quite a few of those things in there, and I wish I could disable them. I probably can if I knew just what mod exactly to get rid of, but um, yeah. Right? Like, there is a few things that just aren't hard. They're just very annoying. And the whole point is to just be time-consuming. Arthas, thank you! Th like, imagine... Okay, imagine it's winter and you go outside in your snow boots. But then, like... No, it has to be the black snow boots. Else your feet will still go cold. You can't go out of the blue snow boots, what the fuck? So you have to go back and like dye your boots black just, just to get the cold resistance. Something like that, where it's like, it's so inconvenient and doesn't add difficulty. It's just like, why are you being so inconvenient for nothing? This is just a time waste. Boots are boots, bro. <laughs> right? Like some things are just way too specific for no reason. No, no, there isn't a mod that does it, but I thought it was like a good... I thought it was a, it was a good, um... What's it called? Like, it was a good different example to show off, like, some of the inconvenience. Like, there is no difficulty... Analogy, thank you! I thought it was a good analogy to show off that some of the mechanics in RL Craft add no difficulty. It's just inconvenient and annoying. There is such a thing, for example, with um, greenhouse glass in Minecraft. Like, why does my greenhouse glass need to have this very specific color? Why can't it be any other color? Why does my greenhouse glass only work if it's that one singular specific color? Greenhouses don't even have that color to begin with! <sighs> it's just like, why? Also bleeding, thank you! Because it's a greenhouse, but that it isn't even fucking green! And greenhouses ain't fucking green! 
The white! Was it a fucking green greenhouse? Fuck no! That was Finally. white. Hope you're clear, having an usually. amazing day. I'm glad to hear that the meds are working wonders. <laughs> Thank you, Axe. I've been doing better. so much better. Want like, want. I just feel good. No pain. Little pain. Very little to no pain. It's so nice. Calrim, thank you! Doop -do, doo -do, doo -do, doo -do, doo -do. <laughs> And to be a White House! Oh wait, that's already a thing. <laughs> I'm doing so good. Lily, thank you for being yourself and accepting of my unpleasantness most of the time. <laughs> You deal with most of the hell chat puts you through <laughs> with pride and stride. A genuine inspiration of someone who can roll with the punches. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm doing so much better. The only thing that has me worried is... I know we still haven't talked about why I was sick and why that was very scary and very sudden and Good why news, I disappeared I for four days. So I can finally eat. <laughs> Let's go! But, um, long story short, the only thing I'm worried about right now, which gives me, like, a little bit of a... You know when you're worried and you have, like, this butterfly in your stomach? You, you, you know that? When it's, like, something is worrying. The only thing that worries me right now is what happens when the meds Ahoy run out. Streamers. And we Why haven't found a way to fix colors? things yet. Because I, I can't just be on meds forever. Cause I'm colorblind. <laughs> Clueless cheer fires fucking for fuck's sake second thank you <laughs> yeah i guess we just don't worry but it, it is a thought in the head in the back of my head where i'm like i feel great right now thanks to the meds what if they run out i think i have roughly two more weeks of meds and then what if we haven't figured things out by then <laughs> what's causing your pain I wish I wish any of us knew. We don't know. <laughs> we haven't figured this part out yet, chat. We'll we'll get there hopefully. <laughs> we'll hopefully get there at some point. Can you just go to the pharmacy and get more in that case? It's more the fact that you shouldn't be on these mats forever. This is a temporary solution. There's a there's many mats that are good short term but not good long term. Do, 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 do. Hi, are you a ah. greenhouse? Because <laughs> you make my heart bloom with the warmth you bring shine <laughs> love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dred. <laughs> Lily, being frank, if an idiot randomly just popped into You're Frank, the you're the actual size of my forehead, I would find them unpleasant. Especially <laughs> when the forehead, if I am honest, is of normal size. The Thank you! Out. You heard it here first! My forehead is a completely normal size! Thank you very much! I do agree, it's very normal. <laughs> One guy. <laughs> Don't listen, okay, mute. <laughs> How long has it been now? 13 minutes. Chat, let's emerge. Stop with the. You know what? Fuck you. I'm cocking you. Get drowned, bitch. Fuck, that was way too fast. <laughs> I need a slower transition, just so just so I can fuck around with you guys. I need, I need a I need a much longer stingy. Ah. <laughs> 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 Her forehead is normal sized, but her height is microscopic. You can't win them all, my dearie. I am sorry, but you can drown in a raindrop. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. I cannot, thank you very much. I've been playing some more. Um, Azerlain. Yippee. I've been playing a little more. After yesterday's stream. What did I eat after stream? The only thing bigger than Lily's forehead is her heart so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Is Azaline fun? What kind of game is it? Um, it's like, um... Hi, Azaline. Can you sponsor me for this section of the stream as well? <laughs> no, but, um... That's a medical issue. <laughs> it's hard to describe. I think, in my opinion, it's best described as... Obviously, you do you. But to me, it's a game that is really fun to play on the side. It's like the perfect, like... I don't have a bad attention span. And I don't have ADHD. And I don't have any of those things at all whatsoever. But it's just very nice to just have the tablet to my side. And just click a de clack a bunch of things. I have VTuber. <laughs> and then just click it and click a couple things where I'm just like... I don't know. I don't think... Lily, I wasn't really paying attention. ADHD toe. I didn't notice what the doctor said last week. If you even told us. Sorry. No, I, I didn't tell you guys yet. I, I just felt like there wasn't a good time for it. Long story short, I was very sick from... Long story short, um... So Monday, I felt great, still. Ah, uh, man! Alright, I've been feeling not so well for a while. The, the thing I've been really talking about on stream. But I haven't been feeling all that well for a while. And then on Monday, I had a dinner with Dan. And like the other streamers. And then on Tuesday, um Hold up, let me open chat first. And then on Tuesday, just before stream, or like not that long before stream, something happened that got me very scared. Very, very, very scared. And um I thought that because of my genetical history that, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Here, here we are. Well, I knew we were here for, for a good time, not a long time, but I, I didn't expect to squeeze out a couple more years than this, you know? <laughs> and, um, so obviously instead of streaming, the first thing I did was sort out my medical shit. Because um, I went to the doctor basically the next day. I was very sad and crying because like... Like I said, I know I'm here for a good time, not a long time, but... Obviously, once that happens, you still panic. Um... Yeah. So then, Wednesday, I went to the doctor. And... Um, we did a little bit of like... Testing around and messing around and fiddling around. And yeah, we have a couple theories. However, the good news was basically that um, obviously the doctor took me in right away because the doctor was like, oh, that can be bad. So obviously, uh, the second I called the doctor, he was like, okay, meet me at my office in like an hour. And I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> it can be. Yeah, the signs were there, you know. The signs were there. And, um... Okay, but what happened? I don't want to talk about it. I just don't think... That I'm at the point in my streaming career where I really, like... Wanna... Share that part. I don't really feel comfortable with that. It's a bit too private. Yeah. So no, if, if, if you're sitting here to listen to the story because you're trying to figure out what exactly is happening, I have, I have bad news. <laughs> I have bad news because I don't really feel comfortable sharing the part yet. Maybe whenever I figure out what it actually is wrong. But yeah, so basically... Um, no need to go into detail, mm. Lily. All that matters exactly. is you're all right, lovers. Yeah, I feel like I share a lot. I feel like you can't be mad for not sharing that. I feel like I share a lot, but I have my limits, and that is one of the, those limits. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I feel like I tell plenty. Um, 
So basically, I went to the doctor right away because obviously the signs are there for maybe emergency. However, after some testing and messing around, we came to the conclusion that even though we still don't know what exactly is wrong, whatever is wrong is probably very manageable for now. Whatever act, whatever genuinely is wrong, whenever we do figure out what's wrong, it's probably manageable, curable, fixable, livable for now. So like, we are more. So I'm okay. It's just that whatever is bothering me, whatever is going on in my body right now, we don't know. We just, we just, we just don't know. Probably, yeah. I mean, I say probably because the chance is always there. But there is no immediate concern. And even if probably is the case, chances are stuff is being discovered very early to the point where we we got off. We we managed to be lucky, you know? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is, it very most likely, probably, it's gonna be fine. But we just have to figure out what it is. So up until then... I think I have like two more weeks worth of meds. Um, I'm on a bit of medication. It's it's not like, I don't know. It's just to make me more comfy for now. Because I don't know what exactly is causing. Let's just call it discomfort. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Doop -a -doop -a -boo. It'll be fine, probably, so don't worry. But yeah, so, yeah, it's basically good news, yes. For fuck's sake, Lily, I have two more weeks worth of meds. Uh, did I make like an awkward pause there? I'm sorry, I did not make- I did not mean to make it sound like that. Oh, I apologize for the weird pause. I- <laughs> That was just a stutter. I, that, that's not what I meant. I I'm sorry, right did I pause weird? <laughs> Most likely it is okay, but until we know more and testing is done. There's always that small chance of something is up and better to be safe. Yeah. Puts things in perspective. Yeah, I mean, the chance is still there, but there is an immediate concern. Like, chances are it's more or less ruled out for now until we can't figure out what exactly it is. And once we get to more testing, we can't do all the testing all the time. First, I have to make sure my body's comfortable. Hey, shyly watching compilations of your old react to funny hey. vids on YouTube has had me laughing most <laughs> of the day. Smile throws shrimp snow. Let's go! What's ruled out? Okay. I, I, I figured this part is probably pretty obvious for now, but... Chances are cancer is ruled out-ish, probably. It's... Whatever it is, it's probably not any late-stage cancer. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So far... We don't think about that. Okay, okay. That's all the info you get, now leave me be. <laughs> I... Oh, I didn't get the hint. Yeah, y'all really don't get Show the hint. Show up five hundred huh? bitties for the Shyly Health Fund. <laughs> don't dive into the what if black hole. Oh, stop! Yeah, I don't need health funds. I live. I'm a European chat. Stop! <laughs> I didn't pay shit yet. I hate medical stuff, especially when it's somewhat <laughs> unknown. I have been through stuff like that before. The yeah. mental drain is terrible. Yeah, it's just I'm mentally glad you draining are at the moment. Now and hope the doctors figure out what to do soon. Yeah. Especially because, um, what was I gonna say? Fuck, I got distracted. Thank you. Because hentai Jason <laughs> is such a funny name. <laughs> but it was the timing. <laughs> Thank Honestly, you, Jason. I assumed you finally got laid year. and the period didn't come. All I thought was, <laughs> man, Numi should have used a condom. <laughs> now she has to pay alimony. No, we don't. We don't do the whole Pregon and on the thing. Not have sex with you. <laughs> Shut up. Better safe than sorry, girl. Mm. We don't need any details. So long as you're okay, we'll be okay as well. Yippee. Take care, girl. We don't do the whole Pregon and on the What the fuck? Okay, moving on. So how about them Nikkei? How about them Nikkei? <laughs> <laughs> haven't touched Nikkei yet. I've been doing. I've been doing Azalean for a hot second. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
I've been I've been taking what you guys said to heart about like googling tier list. I found yeah, I got egg. Don't worry, I got egg. I found this one. Um Azer Lane Tier List. Yup, as long as you're okay, we're okay. Love you lovers. Exactly. Thank you, that. I found this tier list so far. Um Can I do this? Oops. What the fuck is this? Oh, I see. Is this the right tier? This is what I found. This is the first result on Google when you Google Azure Lane tier list. So this is what I did. For the health fund. I hope I don't, you meds don't stop. make the funny internet people disappear. Like <laughs> mine, Satch. I don't need health fund! I'm European! Stop it! <laughs> I use that one. It's very nice. I, I very much appreciate the site. It's very thorough as well. The uh, it, the, it doesn't have the new ship in here yet. At at least not as far. How how do I spell her name? I don't remember her name. But I guess the new ships take a hot second. Can you link it? Um, yes, of course. Yeah, it seems very similar to the Nikki one. Furious. Thank you. <laughs> Who'd like to hear a joke? Okay, I can't hear an Ornza, so here we go. There once was a bull called Hannibal. He was the most handsome bull on the farm. It would get on the One wolf day, so bad. Hannibal wanted to visit the cows on the other field, but there was a big fence in the way. So Hannibal decided to jump the fence. He too. He too. <laughs> he too. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> he too. It's a bit out there, but if you really need advice, you can ask questions in that Discord. It's what they said. Um, maybe it's outdated. I don't know how outdated we are talking, but I think I think it's helped a lot so far. For example, I just went to Unzen, for example. Unzen. I oh it, it even saved like my ships. I went to Unzen. And then I never know what my ship is. I don't know if it's like a BB, a CV, if it's like a CB or CLDDSS. Other, I, so I just I just put the name in and I just click through the freaking ship categories and I'm like, ah, okay, Unzen here. And then you just click on her, and then I know about the fear due to medical family history. Mm. First, grandpa heart attack. Second, stroke. Father, quadruple bypass. But I will die with a full head of hair. Cheer 500. <laughs> Yippee. But um, I got I got this and it's so nice. The only thing that's super confusing is... I remember when it... you were sick that one time. Was it COVID? Anyway, you know darn well we lose our shit when worried about our <laughs> lily. To the point of annoying you. No more Kek. worrying. This is why I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> this is why I don't want to talk about it. I told you guys you will worry more than I do. I just... <laughs> no more worrying. Goodbye. <laughs> we talk about ship girls now. The site takes a bit till they update stuff. They discuss every ship thorough in their Discord. Oons ain't to like two months. Mm, I see. Yeah, we talk about big titty ship girls. So yeah, this is what I... I basically just went well. I don't know how to build Oons in, So I take Oons in. And then I just look at how I get the gear. The only confusing part is so much gear comes from events or gear labs. And as far as I have found out so far is that I have to do Operation Siren a lot, a lot to even be able to craft anything from here. So I just go... I just check where I get the part from. I will tell you are one of my favorite streamers. <laughs> Thumbs up. One thank you so much. Also terrific. Thank you for the tier three. Thank you. The thing is, I don't quite understand Operation Siren that well yet. Not quite yet. I also don't understand leveling yet. I watched a leveling video today while eating. It was like 14 minutes long. And I realized that I don't even I don't understand how 
act how to like properly level stuff yet not not quite as in um how do i put this I think when you're level, you just play through, like, the story maps. You just do them all the time, but you only put in, like, very little ships, so you don't use as much oil. But I'm like, don't you get XP books for the ships that are, like, above 100 XP and isn't that? But I guess the oil consumption is to... It so is! Ah, it's, it's so complicated. It's so, it's so complicated. I... It's been rough, it's been rough. <laughs> it's out of date? Oh yeah, I use dorms and I use the 10 hour uh, commission to level my ships. So I put, I use dorm and 10 hour commission to do ships. But yeah, it's, it's definitely got a learning curve, yes. Plastic King, thank you! But then I also saw many comments saying that you should just spam event stages to level up ships. Because they are oil capped or something, and I'm like, oh, this is so complicated. <laughs> Fabi, thank you! We did three! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do. Most guide videos are like minimum a year or two old. <laughs> so I'm still not quite sure what to do. But I have found out, like, yeah, I just I just kind of wing it, I guess. <laughs> Grinding D three in the event right now is the best thing to do. What is D three? Is it like difficulty three? Is it like the third stage of hard mode stage? Is is, is that what you're telling me? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Thank you. Oh, I do ship goals I like the most as well because based on this tier list, I found out that um shit, I forgot her name. Ah, let me look. Based on this tier list, I found out that ah, uh, what is she called? Let me go to my dock. Oh, the name is. I found out Louisville is a terrible ship. She's like tier 5, which is, um... It doesn't get that much worse than that. But I just think she looks very nice. I, I just think she looks like a beautiful rifle. I need to saw her. Thank you for tier 3. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I figured out... I'm, I'm using Louisville, but it just like... Yeah, I, I... Oh, she cute as fuck! So right now, I'm still using her. I don't care. Brutal! Thank you for tier 3. By the way, D3 is zone 4 and counter 3 in the event. Oh, thank you for clarifying. I think I'll do some event stages while we chat. How was that chat? As long as I get through the content, right? Eugene is tier 5 as well, that's also so sad. Mm, Eugene, who's Eugene again? Oh, oh, Eugen! Oh! Yeah, see, I'm also... I, I've used Eugen for quite a while as well, but I'm more like, well... I don't know, game works fine. <laughs> I also figure that rarity means a lot. Like, you see all these URs. I have yet... Maybe I'm talking shit, but I have yet to find a UR that is, like, down here. Anywhere near the bottom. I feel like tier 0 is the lowest I've ever seen an, a UR be placed. War Spider's getting there? I guess? But she's only technically a UR, right? Uh... So it's like the lowest UR is tier 0 again. And then there's no UR. Then we have Plymouth here and San Diego as UR ships. And they're pretty much up there. I feel like rarity for the most part. 
makes a big difference in terms of placement. Oh, wait, Tashkent. I have her too. I didn't know she was so good. She, I have her in my, uh, in my thingy right now. What's it called? In my 10 hour commissions. I just thought her design was really cute. She has like cute fluffy ears. But I feel like it's very rare for higher rarity ships to be far down. It happens, but like, if you look at the bulk of things, it really doesn't seem to happen a lot, a lot. Like, if we just go to like this one, for example, like you can see how it's thinning out based on like a uh, rarity of the ship, I feel like. <laughs> But yeah, I found out that, um, which ship did I look up? There was a ship that needed something specific. Was it Unzen? No, it wasn't Unzen, I don't think. Like, it needed like a little beaver. I, oh god. Was it Laffy? Again, I know, I don't know the ships yet, so I just click through the thing. But many of them need like expired event things as their best item and I'm like, bro, I don't have that. I go through like the list of stuff they need and I'm like, well, don't have that. Silver Archives Day 7, that's expired, can't get that. Uh, this one has research but I'm far from getting there. And there is like another event drop, another event drop. So the only thing I can equip is, um, I guess a fire suppressor. <laughs> yup, that's... That's great! Yippee! <laughs> uh, was it... Shimi... Sh Shimakaze? No, it wasn't Shimakaze. Um... Constellation? I think that's a different one that I needed, but I, I don't want to talk shit, so I'm gonna just go... Oh, what are you? No, oh, it's like a beaver bat. Ulrich? No. Eh! Guam? Ah, see! Guam! Guam's best in slot item is like this beaver squad tag. This one. And I'm like, how the fuck do I get that? Collection reward little beaver squadron second rank. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I had to figure... Oh my god. I discovered a full new mechanic of the goddamn game. Where it's like... If you double click, it gives, gets you to like the wiki of everything. Oh, you can't see it. It's badly cropped. But basically, you're supposed to collect certain ships and once you have the ships collected you have to level up the ships and once they all reach a collective amount of stars you then get this fucking beaver batch it's like ah so much shit to do <laughs> so obviously right now my guam has these two items because that's the this is the one i can farm and then we have another thing that i can get maybe much later no idea how to get this, probably event. Sounds like event. And then I have no idea what the fuck this is. War I Archives Rewards. I'm like, I just equip my shit with what I have. Most of these slots I manage by just equipping like the lowest tier item. But yeah, whew. So much to do, but my ships have been probably increased a lot by equipping them with certain things. For example, there was one ship. Wait, wait, wait. Who is it? I can, I can look here. That was so wild to me. Yes, Shimakaze. 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 Her best weapon. Her best in slide. It's a random fucking blue gun. And I was like... Eh. <laughs> That's so weird. But then I read into it and it said that... Well, it has the lowest reload time to proc the skill. And it turns out that her skill is like one of her main reasons as to why she is that strong. So this is the lowest reload time gun in the game. So... 
She has more damage output by running this little blue piece of garbage because it just has such a little re reload time to like keep rocking her skill instead. <laughs> it's like, I would have never thought about these things and I've just given her like a random fucking golden gun and call it a day. In fact, that's what she had. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was, it was crazy. It is, yeah. So yeah, I'm making do. I'm farming, I'm farming things slowly but surely. I'm, I'm farming things. Right? You think it's so bad, but then it apparently is so good it's broken with her. So I was like, huh? <laughs> huh? I love spreadsheeting and mathing games like this. Yeah, you might enjoy this. This game can be so min-maxed. However, I've made it pretty far not knowing a thing of the game at all whatsoever. And just like, <laughs> just winging it. So I think I think this is a really nice game for both. It is so casual friendly while at the same time you can man max it so hard. <laughs> Guess some things now will get patched. I don't know. Do you want it to be patched? <laughs> That's what I've been doing so far is making it. Yeah, I mean, it works really well. It's It was still working really well. Like, I had no issue clearing what I'm probably supposed to be clearing, but I just felt like I can do better if I know more about the game. Yeah. Mm. Give me a second. Ugh. It's stuck in there. Okay. Ba -bam. And then I can... Ah, loud. Sad BGM root. I'm sorry. Sunshine, thank you for tier three. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Capture card. We can just <laughs> boom. <laughs> ah, yes. Top tier Azure Lane Gaming. There, there you go. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Nicholas will remember this. It's so small, what do you mean? This is perfect size, no? Isn't this perfect size? <laughs> Can we keep it like this? Of course. So yeah, we should probably do... um Hold up. I'm gonna just do event stages on this side real quick. So I'm gonna finish this event. It's perfect, right? It's perfect. See? It's got everything you need to see. My neck is starting to hurt. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just because it's small doesn't mean it's not perfect sized. Just like you. Thank you, Crimson. <laughs> see? Beautiful gameplay. Isn't this, isn't this all you could ever ask for? See, it's 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 all right here. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? <laughs> Peak quality gameplay. What just happened? I just got here. Don't don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're just multitasking. I need to zoom in. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. I can I can. Hold up, let me fix it. Enough one, let me fix it. Oh, 
パーンたらーなおそろいてもらえるビハインドグラスビハインチューズ It will probably work, but I probably have to zoom out quite a bit and be off to the side. I'll... I can put it there. Just, just, you know, like, that is very possible. It's just, once I do put it here, um... Well, it's very, it's very possible. It's, it can, it can be right there. I don't care, do it. <laughs> like, it, it is doing just fine over there. It's doing just fine. But yeah, I'm kind of blocking it, so... There, there, there is that. Once it's here, it's like, well... I don't think you'll be able to see a whole lot. Yeah, you're just looking at the big screen at an, at an, at an event. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> I don't mind you blocking it. You're the real show after all, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I was just gonna put it on top of chat. Like, it's completely fine there. This feels like Subway Surfer, but it's just like... <laughs> Dude, this TV is sick, right? <laughs> it reminds me of Subway Surfer, where it's just like someone put Subway Surfer like in the corner of a video. So people keep watching the video as the funny happens. <laughs> Can we get words on the screen next? <laughs> Don't give the TikToks ideas, guys. You know what? They might do exactly that now. Maybe they will just pour, put Azure Lane gameplay in the corner of the video. Can the heads be on top of the game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the hands can indeed be on top of the game. <laughs> they, yep. They can do that. Ah, don't retreat. The hands are longing for Azure Lane. <laughs> they wanna play too? Yeah, they just, they just wanna play. They wanna play with, with sexy ship girls. What the heck? <laughs> the gremlin laugh. <laughs> Hands reaching for Lily's wives. Ah! Leave my wives alone. Don't you dare. Give us all your land. <laughs> it looks like they're reaching for them in a not nice way. I mean, yeah, I don't think they're being very discreet about reaching for the sexy ship girls. <laughs> I don't I don't think they're really into that the screen lifestyle, you know. I think they're helping. Maybe they are. Maybe they're helping with gameplay. Maybe they're like, okay, I got this. Don't don't worry. Who knows? Maybe they are helping. Hand of the rifle. Let me see if I can make it. Over here in time for the boss. And before something else attacks me. Boop, boop. Done. The backseaters. <laughs> this is what backseaters look like, chat. This is what they look like. Just hands on the screen. Yeah, they're all like just backseaters. <laughs> there might be people who didn't get Suyo's four times. You make it sound like I was very lucky. <gasps> Speaking of lucky, guess what I just did? I did my... I had my daily to like pull... To like build a ship. Guess who I got? Guess who I got? Guess who? Okay, bye. <laughs> What's her name? Pol... Polta... Poltavia... Pol... Polavia? Yeah, something... Something like that. Poltav! 
Baldava. There we go. I got Baldava. You are lying. I'm not. I did a poll for my daily. And I got Baldava. <laughs> so now I have all the new ship girls. Prove it. Okay, I will. Let me just uh, let them let them play. What the fuck is the stage? Yo, look at this shit. What in the bullet hell is that? Dude, they're going- My ships are low-key dying! What the heck? One of my ships did die. Wait, who died? There's only two ships alive. Luffy and Hazazuki. Who else is my team, usually? Ah! Who died? Oh, right, Magdeburg. Right. I forgot that this fleet is a bit, um... Handicap because it, it runs with Magdeburg. I need to practice more too, right? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me show you real quick. <gasps> the hands, I can't. I fucking can with those hands. <laughs> the fucking hands, bro. Um, let me go to my dock. Where is she? Um, also, I bought a new outfit for Deutschland. I just had to. It's my ship after all. Um, Botava. Oh, yeah, and I'm leveling Rodney and the fucking hands. <laughs> I'm leveling Rodney and Nelson right now. Also, because I get an item if I let me break them enough times. An item that was best for a certain character. Don't ask me who, but it was it was there. It was it was best for someone. Um chat, what the fuck is she? Da! I told you. I got Baldaba. There she is. <laughs> You can search by name? Yeah, I... Oh. Um. Hold up. <laughs> uh, my microphone just fell off! How do I screw it back on? How do I... Okay, I have to get this part... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, I have to get this... It's so heavy. Come off! How do I get this part off? Am I s I'm screwing the wrong way. Okay. Jesus Lord, have mercy. Then I have to screw it into into this hole. Oh boy. Okay. Screw that in here. Why well, are microphone attached? Why is just this all of this is just so overly complicated? And then I have to <laughs> Can I take this off? No way I need this, right? Okay. And I just screw this in. How do I... Do I have to unplug my mic to... Shit. <laughs> Fuck! What if I just... Do it like this? Stop turning with it! Damn it! Ah. <laughs> Mike screwing ASMR. Don't you just love it? Aren't you enjoying this process thoroughly? <sighs> okay. Boom. Okay. I fixed everything. 
まあ、落ち着いて。<笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ<laughs> a couple days. I mean, yeah, it like it like comes a little after a while. Eventually, <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't stay in there for good for very long. Cause I move it around so much, and then like eventually it screws loose because I've all of the moving around. Use glue. <laughs> Yeah, she always glue my microphone in. Yep, that's a common issue of butt plugs. Um, yeah. I mean, you're the most experienced out of all of us, so you would know, right? <laughs> yeah, it takes roughly five to ten business days to come loose. <laughs> huh? Gates cozy gaming. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Did you loop it? Um, yes, surely. I looped my microphone. <laughs> you could use Loctite. It isn't glue, but it's very strong. Well, I would really like to not permanently glue my microphone into the microphone stand. In, in case I, you know, ever plan to remove that bitch from my microphone stand, I would like to not have permanently attached an arm that may or may not break eventually after use <laughs> i would like it to be replaceable whenever the time comes yeah yeah hey lily can i, I ask you something mm -hmm. can you zoom in and give us your best smug expression please peepo she A liquid threat locker i don't know what that means i'm so sorry <laughs> you just need to put an unhinged amount of strength into it ah well i don't really have that type of strength i couldn't even open my little my little shot glass thingies my little like ginger shots <laughs> so um i don't think i have an ungodly amount of strength to really put into these things if you ask me <laughs> If you ask me, I don't think it's an option. Thank you. Love you, lovers. <laughs> Thank you, Dread. Mm -mm -mm. Ah! Can you remind me what the sound, what the SMG sounds like? <laughs> Looking at this gameplay sure is cool, right? Don't you enjoy this like this like beautiful gameplay in the background? <laughs> Don't you just love it? What the heck? <laughs> I'm a Maria. See, that's what I'm saying. What about the reload? Something like that. I don't quite remember what I did. Pizza, pizza. Like, why do I still hear sound? Didn't I mute it? Wait, why is my how's my capture cut muted? But I still hear sound. What if I mute mute it? What if I don't put the volume to zero, but I just like actually mute? 
Did you hear it as well? It was very faint, but like it was there. I'm like, what the what the heck was that? Love the gameplay, move out of the way, please. I, 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 I. Hello? <laughs> Why is that sound? You are muted! How are you bypassing the mute? Okay. I like how the looking emote is aligned and actually looking at the screen in the background. Okay. <laughs> Chad, look! <laughs> look! <laughs> wait, wait, what if I change the chat? Wait, 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 wait. Do we have the other chat in here? What if I take this chat away, but I give you... Hold on a second. Okay, look now, chat. Look now. This one. <laughs> now it's actually looking. I can see now. Yippee! Yippee! I can see. Oh my goodness, I ate so much, I feel like I'm so... Hello? Chat? Where is it? Here. Boom. I ate so much, bro. I'm so full for my dinner. Need front row seat. <laughs> you got any subway surfers? <laughs> Hello? Lily, do you have any? Do you have any subway surfers, please? Lily, please? Subway surfers, please? <laughs> It's like trying to keep our attention on a day. <laughs> yeah. Lily, can you please move us a bit to the left? Little more? Shy gasm, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> is this what you wanted? Is that yeah? Is 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 the is the view okay? I'm, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy my stream so much. <laughs> Best view in the world. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm, I'm just glad um, the quality of my chatting stream has increased significantly. Totally because of me. And nothing else. VIP view. <laughs> Why is Nicholas Cage wow. there? I suddenly don't care about ship girls. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, Nicholas Cage is looking at you, judging you. Oh yes, your smile is beautiful at this angle, so cute. <laughs> looking nice, view. Oh, oh, you mean ah, the view. I see. The view. I see now. <laughs> nice knees. <laughs> ah, yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful, yes. We've been enlightened. <laughs> nice eyes. <laughs> I see clearly now. <laughs> Wait, I just realized I should probably take the, the cup off screen. It might be confusing to people seeing the cup and thinking that this is like an ongoing thing. <laughs> hi there, Nicholas. <laughs> Say hi to Nick, chat. Be nice to Nick. Say hi. <laughs> Why is she judging me like that? Did you see that? I read hi to him, he didn't answer. <gasps> Nick! Oh my goodness! Show some respect! What the heck, man? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. 
Look, can we get some hands on Nick? <laughs> Wait, why am I gonna touch him? Stop it! What's wrong with you? See, now he's on top of the gameplay too. Like the little bit that is that is in the corner where they're overlapping. <laughs> now he's on top of it. <laughs> oh, you can see. He looks so nice today. He's a little handsome, isn't he? <laughs> he is, he's a little handsome boy. If he wasn't behind the glass, there would be issues. <laughs> what else can we put behind the glass that just looks funny? I wonder. Like, what's a funny thing to put there? Oh, oops, sorry. I put you a bit. I put you a bit too far. <laughs> Put this? <laughs> Wait. That'd be so funny. Hold up. Max 21 Twitch emotes. Hold up, hold up. Be patient. Be patient. We'll get there. Just have to do some Photoshop or Reno real quick. Liz for the raid! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold up, let me put him. Um... It's not working quite as well. Above the glass. Oops, too far. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfection. Yes. <laughs> she cooked. He's, he's a bit more visible now. It works. It works. Stage completed. Boy, I have so much more to do. At what point am I ship gonna struggle? Like, this one was kind of tough. I love the gameplay. Thank you. I'm so excited that you're so immersed into the very well visibly vis vis visible gameplay. 
I was so happy you're enjoying it thoroughly. <laughs> so immersive. Actual POV of me watching streams. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon. Oh, it's rough. I have a couple Pokemon I like. Third is amazing. I love Bulbasaur. He is he's great. <laughs> you got Kent on your phone. <laughs> Yo, you got you got Kent on your phone. Wait, what if I? Machamp, I mean, who doesn't like, who doesn't like Machamp, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> who doesn't like Machamp, okay? <laughs> Mine's Ditto, thanks to the new pink lily. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> they will never know, it has been me, Ditto lily. Dilly! All along! Little! I am shy little. <laughs> I see you paying for- I don't think I colored the phone. I forgot. I mean, I didn't forgot, but um, I fucked- I fucked up with the keybinds and... Uh, I lost the pink phone. We had a pink, but then I- I fucked up. And now we no longer have pink. <laughs> Oopsie! Hello Lily, just lurking and I just wanted to say I appreciate the Aura's music in the background. <laughs> One of my favorite Pokemon remakes. Right? It's so good! Thank you Tempest! Sometimes all you need is a couple Pokemon playlists. They're really good. Ah! Oh! <laughs> my chopsticks. <laughs> I moved the cable and then <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> I moved I moved my cable but I had I still I just finished dinner before stream but I didn't put my like like empty containers away. So I ordered takeout, right? I waited for takeout to arrive and it comes in like this plastic container so I eat out of and when I was done, I just put the chopstick on top of the container. And when I moved my mouth just now, I... I... The container is on my mouth wire. And then the chopsticks went flying. Off of the little, like, plastic container and it scared me. <laughs> yeah, the chopsticks got hands, bro! <laughs> Why the gameplay? What do you mean, what the gameplay? Isn't- isn't this prime gameplay? Hello? <laughs> this is prime gameplay, what do you mean? <laughs> this is amazing! Yeah, the gameplay is right there, look! Looking, chat. go looking! <laughs> Nothing more prime than this! Yep, see? This is it! Looking very prime gameplay, I see very well. <laughs> Is Chad pretending they're here for anything else than your personality? Is apparently like them. There was nothing in the background before. Now there's like a little bit of Azure line in the background, and everyone is pretending like they're actually here for gameplay. Why did you ever watch gameplay? Speaking of gameplay, I don't know what I'm gonna do today yet. Um, let's have a looky loo. Let's make a poll. Hold up, let me go into battle first. So I can start finishing up the event. Let's make a poll time! What do today? Vote, please. Please. I am desperate. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can put RL Craft on there. RL Craft. What else do you want me to put on there? 
You know what? You make the poll. I always make the poll. You make the poll. Final Fantasy fourteen. Final Fantasy fourteen. Chatting and chill. It's basically just chatting. Basic. I I'm not gonna play the game. No. Gaming. YouTube videos? YouTube videos. League of Legends? <laughs> no, thank you. Tarkov, no. Reddit? Yes, I am desperate for some Reddit. Honkai Star Rail Story? Honkai Star Rail Story. We have one more thing. Halo, Apex, Sekiro, Oso, Helldivers 2, Elden Ring, Tarkov, <laughs> Monster Hunter. No, guys, not really. I'm about to go to bed. Fortnite. <laughs> Poppy's Chapter, Pal World. <laughs> B Simulator, Street Fighter 6 Ranked, <laughs> Weedcraft, <laughs> and Stray. <laughs> yeah, I'm figuring out what to put on there. Pal World is one of them. Outlast, Halo Master Chief Collection. I don't have most of the games you're suggesting, or I just don't want to play them. Destiny 2, Hop on Hell Divers, <laughs> Snake Gold. Yeah, I feel like either the Puppy Playtime chapter or Pell World. Which one do we put on there as last one? I have only one more choice I can put on there Puppy Playtime chapter or. Um. Shit, what's it called? Pell World. Puppy, Puppy. Nikkei, Puppy, Puppy. Outlast, Bell World. I think that one is going to Puppy. Isn't Puppy bugged? Yeah, we we have to start over. We're kind of soft locked. What up? Thank you so much for five gifted. Thank you, 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 thank you. Appreciate it. I Puppy playtime. Okay, first let me do another ship. Okay, I'll give you 10 minutes to vote. Sounds up to forest. We did play it some time ago. When it was really hype, we played it a bunch. I saw our mods play it just recently. I finished early access. Wait, it's enough the forest just finished early access? It's released now. Oh. I see. As usual, no Honkai Star Rail sats. I don't know why people hate it so much. I, don't, I, I let you guys vote, and it's just like I don't know. I guess I guess I make Honkai very boring because it's just never really hitting off. But hey, it's getting more. It's getting more votes than Final Fantasy. So there's that. Seen it so many times? I guess so. I don't blame you. We did play a lot, a lot. Chad does it to spite me. <laughs> I don't hate it, just better options currently. You know what? Fair, fair. People don't like Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, it doesn't always matter what people like. I will still play, for example, Honkai. I'll still play Final Fantasy and just like chill and do like chatting with it. I know most games people don't want to, but sometimes I, I'm just like, you know, do my thing. YouTube? Serious? What's wrong with YouTube, Missile? Hmm? What you got against YouTube? Chad loves YouTube? What do you mean? 
YouTube has taken the lead. <laughs> why, why are you hating on YouTube so much? Yeah, YouTube was cool. We do YouTube all the time. It's been so long. When was the last time we did YouTube? Properly, not just showing off a trailer and then fucking <laughs> YouTube is boring. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's been it's been so long. German memes, no. <laughs> ah. I didn't say. Yeah, we can't watch that. Oh yeah, I know. Chat is only suggesting. I'm I'm doing. I only have the options on that, that I actually wouldn't mind doing. Like, if I would, if I wouldn't want to do pu puppy playtime and chat votes with, I would, I'd be like, bruh. I put it on there because like I'm down to play it, obviously. <laughs> do not have them. I have done so plenty times after a poll. <laughs> I've done so plenty times. If you the finish and make us vote on what to watch too. No! No offense, but sometimes you guys just don't have a taste. <laughs> sometimes I feel like you guys shouldn't have access to YouTube. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> She isn't wrong. <laughs> but yeah, we still haven't decided. Like, Puppy Playtime could still very much win. It's only like a couple votes behind, so... For all we know, we don't have to worry about what to watch on YouTube yet because Ew, people you know, want to play Puppy Playtime. Enjoy, my taste is impeccable. <laughs> you know what? Fair. I'll take that. I'll take that. Fair, fair. <laughs> Very true, very true. Give me like one hour to make me fi to make fifty accounts so YouTube can lose. Finishing Poppy Chapter Three will be like two full streams. Mm. Let's see. Thank you, Ray. Welcome, Raiders. Hello. We are just figuring out what we're gonna do. I just had chat vote on what they wanna do. Hello! Raiders vote? <laughs> I guess you can vote as well. Should I hold the line against the Raiders? <laughs> You guys just want whatever the fuck you wanna do! It's up to you! It's your decision! I need something more hyped. Hold up. This one might be good. I forgot what I voted on. <laughs> Doesn't it still say if you if you like open the poll? Like if I vote for Poppy Playtime right now. Oh no, it goes away. I thought I would just forever show what I'm voting on. <laughs> it doesn't? Yeah, it just goes away. <laughs> Power World? The reason Power World isn't on this poll is because I only had one more slot for the poll. And I asked chat what they rather want, like Puppy Playtime or Pal World, and it seemed like it was Puppy Playtime, so there was no reason to put Pal World on there. It shows a mobile. Damn, I guess for once the mobile version of Twitch is superior, what the heck? <laughs> I 
I guess for once, huh? I could have had power to over YouTube. I mean, fair. Fair, I guess. True. Jammies? Yeah, I felt like jammies. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's have some jammies. Why not? <laughs> we got the tummy out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They're just so soft. I love them. Yo, dance! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Past three days without jammies? I had jammies on here and there. Maybe not at the appropriate times, but we, we ripped out the jammies quite a bit. No? Yeah. We ripped out the jammies quite a bit. Yes, they look soft. <laughs> Rico Hyun did an amazing job at making the jammies look very soft. The jammies. <laughs> yes. Like marshmallows. Torachan, thank you! Belly button physics, your model's very detailed, right? It stretches and like... Squidges. I got very detailed belly button physics. To get plankton, I want the milk. <laughs> just get it, forehead. Just go ahead and just get it. Just grab it. Boop. Just grab a milk. Who's gonna stop you? Just steal it. Just commit crimes. <laughs> what did Nicholas Cage call? He got he got replaced by Nags looking at his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Back to gameplay. Wait, what won? Wait, the poll is over. What won? Where is the poll? Um... YouTube. Okay. <laughs> A poppy. <laughs> Thank you! Thank I won. <laughs> YouTube is the winner. Thank you, Tora! With a three gift there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Are we in criminal life right now? Yeah, why not? We are small little criminals! I want the million plankton to get warm. No more warm for you, chat. No more warming for you. We don't warm around here. We don't warm around these parts. <laughs> these parts are off warm limit. Don't make us warm you. Nope. <laughs> Puppy playtime definitely won. I'm trying to see what actually won, but I'm pretty sure it was a YouTube, but um... How the fuck do I know? I wasn't paying attention. Steal. Do crime. Commit crime. Become criminal. Puppy won by one vote. <laughs> Can we do YouTube versus Puppy Playtime now? That's exactly what you had just now! There were just a few more options in between! What difference would it make? <laughs> the 
it's the same poll, minus a few options. Make it more fair. <laughs> Those few options stole votes. Okay. Just to prove a point. Legal. Legal. <sighs> Delicious. I better not be scanned out of YouTube. No, never. Now me and my 70 ultimate accounts have a chance! <laughs> Alright, let me let me grab a bunch of funny YouTube videos. You saw let's give it out as a new video. So let me go grab that. Let me see what it's all about. Do 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 Let's game it out. Three days ago, I exploited this game's entire world to create infinite chaos. Hey there, it's Josh. 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 A true crime video? I wanna watch Trigger, but I feel like part of chat really enjoys it and the other part really fucking hates it. <laughs> it's like so 50 50. Mm -mm -mm. Hey there, it's Josh. Hi, Josh. Hey there, it's Josh. Okay, what else do we watch apart from we can always fill it with random fails? Oh, it's been a while since we did YouTube to begin with, so we can do. Uh, Daily Dose of Internet Oh, so many videos we have! One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven videos. Has it really been a month since we watched YouTube? No way! The last time we watched was a month ago. What the heck? I think so, right? Dude, we're getting old. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh my god, child, puppy playtime one! Just kidding, it's YouTube Man, again. Like if I, told I were you. a clown that asked for a revote, only to lose twice, I'd feel <laughs> really silly. Like I'd have to go into my copium reserves to survive. <laughs> That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Clueless. Right, Tsunami? That'd be crazy. <laughs> Flau, thank you so much for the 18. Clueless, that'd be, that'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> that'd be so embarrassing. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Holy waste, nice outfit. <laughs> Third time is the charm, Copio. <laughs> Okay. What else do we usually watch? My YouTube algo is ruined because I've only been using my YouTube privately lately. Oh shit. 
I think Pia has a banger video. Four hours ago, 43,000 views. Not bad, not bad. Like, half my YouTube recommended right now is just Pal World content. <laughs> Because I'm at the point in Palworld where I played so much that I'm actually starting to just like look up things And then my YouTube algorithm's like, oh, you looked up where to build base ones? Have 17 other base building tip videos <laughs> And yet you're doing a react I can't clip <laughs> Uh oh Yeah, it's doing a good job. I, I have to hand it to them. Yes. You know what I hate? I really hate that I can't put shorts into like my watch later. Because there's a couple shorts I'm like, I'm gonna watch them like right now. That's what is wrong with you! Goodness, thank you! For a 20 gifted! Hello? What the heck? Thank you! Okay, I have to concentrate on finding more stuff to watch. I only have like... A little bit of footage. Been traveling a lot, Lily. I will bring more bits and gifts soon. Oh, well... <laughs> You can keep them to yourself. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I am saddened to learn you've been sick. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> Thank you, Dadris. Don't worry. I've been right now. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing great. Do you Having feel well enough time. to do some busting? <laughs> no busting. No busting. Dadris, keep keep your sh money to yourself. Relax. You have done plenty. Enough. Do 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 do. I'm trying to find videos to watch, but everything is full of Pal World! I don't want to watch Pal World videos with you guys. Thank you, Black Angel! I clicked the button but it didn't work. If I could read, that message would make me very sad. If I could read? It's, I think it's disabled right now, isn't it? I'm pretty sure sound alerts are disabled at the moment. Let me see. You won't stop me though. Shit, stop that. Hello? <laughs> Holy shit, that is. Stop that. Holy. Are the loads are offline? Yeah, because I have them disabled right now. What in the world? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck! Thank you for the 5k! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! We learned that Brian is cut off by it too? Wait! Yeah, he just cut that off, didn't he? We learn something new every day. 
Man, what the heck do we play? Over 800 games got removed from Steam after fake game scam incident. A what incident? Wait, are people just uploading like a game that isn't the game, but they pretend to be the game? Sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious what the fuck that means. There was some fake held over right, two games. Okay, let's let's watch that video as well. That could be very interesting. This video has 2.5 million views, and the thumbnail is just a cat blowing a horn. I'm clicking that. We're watching that together. We are watching that. A one hour mega tutorial from two months ago to help new players in Azure Lane? I might put that on the site for myself later on at some point. <laughs> I might I might do that. What is this? <laughs> Wait, this thumbnail is so true. We just talked about this. Wait, can I zoom in on the thumbnail? Can I make thumbnails bigger? Hold up. Where, where did the video go? <laughs> this fucking thumbnail, bro. Where did it go? I zoomed in, but now I can't find a thumbnail. Here. <laughs> Power World being another monster catching John again. <laughs> Nintendo fanboys. No, leave the multi billion dollar company alone. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like people always defending stuff like Amazon, Twitch, and whatnot. And I'm like, I get it, but at the same time, do better. <laughs> they have the resources to do so. Like someone just didn't work hard enough. Someone in charge, not the people making it, not the people coding it, but someone else just didn't pull their weight. <laughs> Stop sucking ass, let the shareholders suffer. So they try harder next time. Yeah, maybe do more than bare minimum. That'd be nice. <laughs> Imagine not having gotten any improvement in the game and hardware for like almost 10 plus years and defending that. <laughs> yeah, maybe take a break on the ass sucking. <laughs> maybe get some ass sucking over here, man. 1.5 million views. The life of a clot sire. Yes. Speaking of Pokemon, we are watching that. <laughs> that is perfect. Mm -mm -mm. I still have to watch the sparkle trailer. How long can I still get sparkle for chat? I don't want to miss her. I want to make sure we play Honkai before she disappears. Like minimum just before she disappears. I still have some time, right? You just came out, no? You got time? Yeah, that's what I thought. Lily, would you ever make a guide or go over how you set up your VTuber up? Parameter wise act. I've been trying my best with my new VTuber and I've been fidgeting with the setting for over a two weeks now and am not getting it as how I thought I would be able to get it. Or like you, but you yourself are very good. You see? Um... <laughs> Not me going, you see, I'm zooming in and it just like strategically zooms into my booba. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sure if you have realized, but if you compare my debut stream to today's stream, you have maybe come to realize that the rigging has changed. Probably, if you have an eye for it and actually pay attention, you have probably come to realize that the rigging has changed dramatically. And...
And a big reason for that is because I too sometimes look at clips or YouTube videos or whatever else and I realize that it doesn't look the way I want it to look. And then I change it and I go a couple days with the change and I change it again. And then I go a couple days and I change it again. And I do that a lot. <laughs> One thing I haven't changed nearly as much is the up and down and left, right, like the lean and the turn. I think that I keep, feel free to give me feedback, but I think for the most part, I quite nailed that one. You yeah, like the general movement of just like the model. I think for the most part, I nailed that very much. Obviously, sometimes you can tell I hit the maximum parameters, but I don't think that's because I set up the parameters badly. I'm just overusing yes, the model. Can you do the Sigma face pause champ? I keep forgetting to add the fucking toggle. Or rather, I don't have a toggle for a Sigma face, but I have the necessary blend shapes to make a toggle for Sigma face. Yes. <laughs> um. So yeah, the mouth rig, I probably ever since debuting this model not too long ago, I changed that like every couple days. Every time... There was a new video of me being uploaded. I changed Last the model's week, mouth, the mouth tracking again. Was kinda weird. You were saying words that requires you to close your mouth, but mm -hmm. your model wasn't doing it, and it was making me angry when I was making <laughs> clips. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. But it also sometimes depends on my lighting. I don't know why, but sometimes the lighting in my room, like my tracking can be very different like one thing i have to change almost every day every other day is mouth open close parameter because some days maybe that's just because i don't know maybe my lips are a bit more puffier one day and maybe i'm dehydrated another day but maybe it's also the lighting but my mouth open close um it changes more or less significantly like i have to change the parameter quite often because um it doesn't always close the mouth properly or sometimes the mouth is like open and my mouth is closed like i'm sitting here like but the mouth is like that and i'm like bro my mouth is closed what do you, what do you want <laughs> maybe an easier question can you recommend a ring light some guy in the meet was scared to death when I appeared in the dark room during a meeting. <laughs> any lighting works. Like, that ass. Any lighting. <laughs> I have a... I have a key light. And the only reason I have a key light over a ring light is because that one has... Um... I'm very sensitive to bright light. I try to get away with... The only with... thing that never changes is the way you smile so cute and so cute. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> the only thing I change, the only reason I picked this key light over a ring light is because I was able to change the um, light output between um, the um, like cold lighting and warm lighting. So a more yellowy, orangey light versus like Just a more bluey pull up a white light. Stream. There is nothing brighter than her forehead. <laughs> Shut up. So, um, any lighting works. If you Is have a light that that points at you, it works. Soon. Moments you make your famous fishy pop 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 noises. You know the ones that warm my heart and soul. <laughs> but yeah, I. Any lighting works. Whatever you can stand looking at all day, just just go get that. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, another thing that changes sometimes, again, I don't know why, I think lighting, my lighting is fairly consistent, but it isn't, I mean, every day is gonna be a little different. Also because sometimes what I look at on my screen is gonna emit more or less light. So depending on what I'm doing on my screen, it will also change the tracking because the light emitted is gonna change things. So maybe at some days I'm gonna be a lot more, um oversaturated and other days it will be a lot darker so um yeah 
My lantern runs out of fuel quickly. What would you suggest? <laughs> Electricity. Yes, sir. But yeah, I... I don't know how to help you with parameters because I still change those every couple days to this day. And you'll probably keep doing that for ever. <laughs> I don't... Maybe... Okay. Maybe. But I'm a strong believer that every VTuber who cares quite a bit about their model's rigging... None of them set up their parameters day one and roll with Can it to get a new model. Forehead when no. she Sadly, I have daily meeting. Guess Lily has to stream more. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's an endless battle of tweaking. You just... I don't know. You just... Stuff changes. Lighting changes. Your position changes. Sometimes I I have to readjust my my phone a bit because it got a bit loose or I bumped into it and now, now that position angle has changed. You always have to change it a bit. All the time. Yeah, it just changes. And then, like I said, maybe some days you're gonna be a bit more puffy because of lack of sleep, and other days maybe you're dehydrated because you just maybe you got busy and you forgot to drink for a day or two. Maybe other days you're sick and you have quite some redness or other days you didn't sleep well and now you have big eye bags. And that can all affect the tracking day by day. So you either just roll with it and accept that today your mouth just doesn't track properly. Or you catch it fast enough midstream or just before and you fix it real quick and you find like a quick solution. For me, it's usually mouth open close. I change that parameter almost every second day. I don't know why. I have no idea. I have the same skincare routine, I get the usual amount of sleep. My lighting is fairly consistent, but sometimes it's just not tracking that well. Other times it does track really well. Maybe it's my hardware getting old, who knows? This phone is old. I've had this phone, this phone has been turned on non-stop, never having a break for like two years now. <laughs> It is constantly running and being hot and everything for like two years now. So, you know, maybe it's just a hardware issue as well. Like, who fucking knows? <laughs> who fucking knows? I also found many people have a very stiff model. And I think a big reason for that is because when I set up the parameters that look all the way to the right and then all the way to the left and then I set up the parameters based on that but I'm like realistically you only do that like maybe twice a stream realistically you tilt your head a little bit and then your model is just like your model is just gonna be standing like this the whole time like do you really only want your model to move like this for the majority of the stream like look how fucking stiff I look if I don't actually act my model I still have the same it's been energy. Over 30 days since debut. I miss the old Lily. Before you got gamer <laughs> substitutes on your new model. Gamer substitutes. <laughs> it's like, you know, I. Like I said, okay, if I just sit back, relax, and I don't really act accordingly. If I just sit back and I don't really act a whole lot, this is what my model looks like. I don't think that looks very pleasant. I don't know about you, but that, that looks very stiff and emotionally dead and scarring in my mouth. I don't really make use of most of my mouth shapes a whole lot. It's just constantly like the eh mouth. You know, even though I still have the same energy and everything, it's just not really working out. Because I'm all I'm doing is just staring and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it's like... What the fuck? Like, I can <laughs> This looks so stupid. If I don't, like, actually puppeteer my model, it just... <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? Right? But... As soon as you put a little bit of effort Even into it and some... Even with dead eyes, it, it looks work. nice. Shrimp brain for life. How the fuck are you doing that? It's big. 
Chat, your model is a puppet. Your model is basically a puppet. You have to puppeteer that bitch. You can't just... <laughs> I mean, like, look at this bitch. <laughs> what the... Those... <laughs> I can't. I just look at myself and I don't recognize myself. It's just so, like... It just becomes so much less entertaining. It just becomes ugly. Yeah, you have to... As much as people don't want to admit it, your model is just that, a model. Something you have to puppeteer. If you don't provide it with the input it needs, it's not gonna do fucking shit. <laughs> you have to actually work the model. And yeah, that's tiring. Like, I'm fucking tired after stream. <laughs> My face muscles are yes, tired. I'm dying of laughter stare. <laughs> It looks fucking terrifying, bro. I hate it. Like, man, I think people just have to realize that if you want to be a VTuber and you want it to look good, you're going to have to put a bit more effort into it than just, like, being just a, a shell Staring of a human. Contest, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Did a laugh of ditto? <laughs> <laughs> you blink. But yeah, I think... I think, honestly, the only advice you need is not parameters or whatever. Like, obviously, like I said, check out my debut stream and check out today's stream. Even though it's only, like, what? Two months apart at this point? Not, not even quite two months apart? There is one that... Such a world of a difference, right? But apart from that... In the end of the day, your model is a puppet. And a puppet has to be puppeteered. How to look shit. <laughs> so instead of... So instead of doing this, and just sitting there blankly staring into nothing, and just wasting all the potential and the work that your artists have put into this, uh, the first step is probably to just like figure out what to do with your face, and how you want it to move, because... You're gonna have to puppeteer this bitch! <laughs> if you wanna be looking like a human, you have to stop acting like a puppet. What kind of learning curves do new models have? I don't know. I, I don't think there's a learning curve. I think there's just... Enthusiasm and... Want and... A drive to make it look... Like you are a human and not just a puppet. <laughs> Does the worm need input? Of course. <laughs> but you are an AI. <gasps> um. Um. Everything I've said. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Everything I've said just now. Don't. Don't pay any attention. You're so good at puppeteering, you somehow even puppeteer my heart. <laughs> the way you make my heart dance shiny, love. <laughs> thank you, that. Thank you, thank you. What is this hairstyle? It's my grown-up bangs. Ever since I told Chad that I no longer have it's bangs IRL, I grew them out. With superheroes, no? Instead of the whole body language thing, you have to overreact with your face cause you cannot use your arms. That too, but also, if you haven't quite noticed with this whole like... I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the reason cosplay of those mask superheroes look so stupid... Unless it's for a picture. But the main reason the cosplay aspect looks so stupid compared to like the movie is because... They give the mask exaggerated facial features as well. Like... The mask still works in a certain way. Like, they still... It gets lost very quickly, if you look at it. But they still, like, work the mask as well. But yes, body language is very important. It's basically the opposite. But they still do lots of facial expressions. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself acting like a puppet IRL? <laughs> a little bit, maybe. 
I mean, if you do it all day, so consciously, you bet your ass that once you're off stream, you still do a little bit of it, at least a little bit subconsciously. I think every VTuber does to some degree. Like, I, I think we all exaggerate our I am brown movements and maybe over enunciate a couple words a little bit just because it, it becomes muscle memory. If you do something for hours consciously, you bet your ass part of it is gonna follow you into the um, not so conscious life, you know? <laughs> NPC movement from time to time. <laughs> You just need more passion, more passion, more footwork, more footwork. <laughs> cool but terrifying. I mean, it's all right. Can you do a forehead reveal? How much more forehead do you want? Where is it in? How much more for? Is is that enough? How much more forehead do you want? When is it ever? When is anything ever good enough for you? How much more do you want, huh? Huh? Split it out! Split it the fuck out! How much more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> the square? Why, why am I square? What the fuck? Why do you think I'm square? What the fuck is that? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> There's way too much expression in your model. I don't think anyone has ever said that in such a negative way. <laughs> I hate how your model can express itself. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like that your model has expressions. <laughs> what do you mean of that? Elaborate. What do you mean there's way too much expression in my model? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? TSA about to toss me into a cell from the flashbang that just went off on my phone from that forehead. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> oh shit, I'm expressing! Babe, babe, I'm expressing! <laughs> it just feels too real, well shit. Ma Mabi, <laughs> Mabi. I guess we're Show going back to no expression. <laughs> really, I have a question. Can we watch some funny YouTube videos today? Yeah, I already picked a couple. Well, I don't know how funny they are, but I picked a couple videos. Yes. Blazing, thank you. I do. I think I somewhat understand the point. Like I'm not stupid. I somewhat get the point. I do think that there can be such a thing as two ex um I think it's called Uncanny Valley. I watched a video about it recently. Where you know those robots with human faces? Or CG? Like every time you play a game and people have human faces, they don't quite look real. And that's because that Babe, slow down. You're expressing, and I'm gonna understand how you feel. <laughs> Yeah, they're creepy. And the explanation to that was basically that um, the main reason we don't like that is because when something comes too close to being human, it still isn't going to be quite... We, we haven't managed the ability to make it perfectly human. And that is where the uncanny valley becomes a problem because like... We are very, very close to making things look very human. But we aren't close enough to make them, like, indistinguishable from humans. Because we have so much detail and texture and things in our face. Is it me or have your laughs been more hearty lately? <laughs> it's good to hear so I cute. mean, maybe, maybe, you know, having, having had a big, like, worry be taken off my shoulders make me able to focus more on just being happy and i think that's what that person meant like i'm not stupid i get it i think that's what the person meant with like you yeah, have too many expressions i think maybe my model is 
so well rigged to the point where it's starting to come close to uncanny valley because i can i can be so expressive as a human but i think that's why people like vtubing i think i think i think that's why vtubing is so popular and not like I want to scan myself into a 3D model and be the 3D model. I think that's why we like 3D VTubing because we found a way to artistically to like make a human that I mean clearly I look human. That is a human, right? So we we found a way to draw and express a humanoid without having this weird uncanny valley feeling but at some point you might be too expressive to the point where it's getting close to the uncanny valley because things are just a bit too accurate ah there are they shot the moon landing sustainer there's enough space on this huge forehead shut the fuck up by the way it's bedtime. time Have a yo good, one good night you. again thank good you night all. cheer 500 mm. I can see a belly nipple. <laughs> my... <laughs> my belly nipple. <laughs> I think that's why I really like my... Expressions, because... I'm not sure if you're real, but most of my expression toggles... Like, obviously, those aren't human toggles. Humans don't have that. But I think it fits really well because, well... This model isn't a fucking copy of a human, it's an anime girl. And I think that's why we like it so much, because of the uncanny valley thing. Also, Seth got Donut World, no? Yeah, it's, it's exaggerated, but very nice. Can I replay that? Yeah, it kind of got skipped for some reason. I wonder why. If it would do it again. You just know how to connect to my heart in your own adorable ways, shy love. Thank you, Thresh. Uncanny Valley is apparently an evolutionary trait that we needed to distinguish human likes from non-humans. Now the scary part, what were we distinguishing or running from for this to develop? Mungas. <laughs> Thank you for tier 3! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To be honest, I don't think that's that scary. If scientists really say that, I think they're over-exaggerating. I think it makes plenty sense to have a very, very developed way to distinguish. I think many, many predators distinguish through sight. That's why our eyes are up front. It gives us a lot of like death perception and whatnot. It doesn't make us look very well to our side so we can tunnel vision well. Whereas other creatures and whatnot, maybe they're more their noses are more developed than than death perception, not death. Death. So I think it's really not that scary. Like I think a lot of animals can very easily distinguish between, like, their own kind and others. And as much as people go like, <laughs> Lily, my cat thinks she's a dog because she grew up with dogs. And I'm like, I really don't believe that your cat and dog neither know that they're not the same. I think they are very well aware, but they have just learned based on smell and body language that they aren't a threat to each other, and they have just accepted that fact. They accept each other the way they are. But I am heavily convinced they know that they're not the same kind. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that they genuinely do not know. I think most predators are very aware. Non predators, maybe. But yeah, I think I don't think it's that weird that we learn to distinguish like that, that our uncanny valley thingy got developed to distinguish 
human from non-human. I don't think we developed that because there is some scary skinwalkers out there. I think we just developed that because our nose is kind of fucky wacky. And so we had to like hyper develop our eyesight instead. And that's just like part of it. <laughs> it's about sickness. That's not a good theory. I don't know if that's confirmed, but as a theory, it's also nice. Being able to distinguish sick from healthy as like a survival instinct. Mm. <laughs> Sniffer broken and Han's eyes. <laughs> We're gonna switch it out. This is fucking wacky. I already wonder why we never developed like good sniffers. Like what's wrong with our sniffers? Guess you're the exception to the uncanny valley because your beauty is beyond belief so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, also, okay. Recently on TikTok, super, super random, I found out people don't know how to run. Unironically. I unironically found out that many people don't know how running works because, oh my god, I fell down a TikTok rabbit hole. Oh my. I fell down a TikTok rabbit hole, okay? I found out people don't know how to run based on a TikTok that was like... How come humans develop as like apex predators? How the fuck are we like the top of the food chain? And then a comment was like... Are you stupid or something? It's because we can outrun everything. Right? Like... We developed into like... These... Absolute predator machines that can hunt down whatever the fuck we want for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers and just tire out whatever we're chasing. We are literally designed to basically run for like a fuck ton of time. But then people are like, bro, I'm out of breath after like 10 meters. And I'm like, you know, obviously lots of us don't go to the gym and get nearly as much exercise as we should so but easy stick your arms behind you bend over at your waist and keep your arms straight back full speed ahead full speed ahead <laughs> yeah okay not outrun but catch up like we have just like our stamina like the way our body works sweating running stamina how our legs are our work and our muscle we are designed to run and walk we are designed to be in if motion and stay in motion. Terminator to run, are you even chasing something? <laughs> and then I fell into this big ass rabbit hole of finding out that people don't know how to run. The people that claim that they get tired after like 500 meters, they don't know how to run. And I'm like, didn't you have to run like whatever amount of kilometers in school back then? In like gym class and stuff? And I'm like, huh? The reason humans are at the top of the food chain is simple, retractable thumbs. <laughs> Try and do anything without using your thumbs. It's the cheat code we have over most of the animal kingdom. <laughs> I guess that is part of it, but it's that's far from everything. I also don't think they are retractable. <laughs> at least mine aren't. <laughs> I don't know about your thumbs, but I think I think mine aren't quite so retractable. <laughs> Uh, Cadis, thank you. But then I found out people don't know how to run. People think running is just faster walking. I found out people get tired from running after like a hundred meters because they run wrong. And I'm like, wait, how can you run wrong? What the heck? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> And then I got all of these TikToks of people being like, once I learned how to run, running was easy. And I'm like, how did you have to learn that? How doesn't this that how doesn't this just happen? Like it's in your genetical code, no? It's in your DNA. What do you mean running? Yeah, and, and apparently running wrong can lead like to genuine lifelong injuries. Like I, it can be so damaging for people. Hold up, let me kill the boss real quick. Yeah, apparently that DNA is a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So yeah, that was wild to me because to me, running and jogging and everything, it's just like YouTube I don't know. Videos, please check in on Prancercise. It's a great way to stay in shape. But um, basically, I was I was so shocked. I was like. No way, people didn't Based know. It's in your code. Is to in your do DNA. The thing that is the easiest but best option. We went from running to horse riding to now having cars, each needing less human strength to use. That too, but I, I think I think people underestimate why we developed like horseback and all of that riding. It isn't. It isn't so much the fact that we couldn't cover Humans this distance. Humans are made to run 45 miles a day. I guarantee no animal can sustain a run for that long. So yeah, we're pretty buck nutty when it comes to running. Mm. However, we don't need to do that anymore. So not many people, except professionals, can mm. do it. That too. But I think I think people don't understand why exactly we like developed other forms of transportation and a big a big reason is not the fact that we couldn't have just simply covered the distance ourselves it's the fact that other animals do it faster and we don't exhaust after you know in times where food is not so what's the word prevalent when food is short and so is and so is clean water, if we can just get a horse to cover the distance while being packaged very warm, while carrying things without exhausting, and the horse just eats a bit of grass and drinks from a river instead, that is a lot of time saved and effort and resources. Mm -mm. The butt is a major running muscle. I just don't understand how people can run wrong. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's so like, that shocked me. Like, those people run a hundred meters with a physically healthy body and never question that they're doing something wrong. Them being out of shape and hurting, and their th their knees hurting, and their their what is what is the part call from your leg when like you're i don't know just like everything if i never questioned that the calf like the you know the the, the heel is it called the heel of your foot the heel like they just stomp with locked knees onto the heel no forward lean nothing they just they just like lock their legs and knees and like stomp on the heel without doing a forward lean and they just like that's what they call running and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> what, the, what the fuck bro <laughs> that's so weird thank you insane thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah, right? That doesn't self running. That, that, that doesn't run itself harm. <laughs> Insane ice dragon. Thank you. Okay, let's watch funny videos. Yes, there's people that run on the toes too. I also saw that! I'm like... So you never question why when you walk, you don't walk on your toes. But when you're running, you think that all this force should go onto your toes? I was added... Oh my god, TikTok. The, the youth confuses me sometimes. Ew! It was... It was like, what the... What is... What is going on in people's heads? <laughs> I was so confused. Okay. Let's start with let's game it out. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds goody goody. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. It 
chat, if you could be so kind and get rid of the goddamn marker on my goddamn forehead, that'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Domingo. Wait, can I go pee pee poo poo real quick? Hold up. I'm gonna go pee pee real quick. Hold up. Wait. <gasps> Don't worry, I got this ad. Let's go to ads first. But without the marker, how else can I find my way after getting lost in your eyes, shy love? <laughs> smooth, smooth. I am I go pee pee. Uh, I still have water, so yeah, I'm just gonna go pee pee. Maybe get a snack. I don't know. Ha! <laughs> I'm supposed to eat more! But it's been very difficult lately. I don't know, I have... I told you I have phases... With my food intake, right? I'm supposed to eat more and I'm trying, but like... I had food like, what, four hours ago? And I just... I'll open the fridge and see. Worst case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a piece of cheese and call it a day. Okay, I'm gonna go be, be right back. I'm gonna play a... I cannot run an ad. Why not? I recently ran an ad. I must wait another one. I must wait to run another one? What do you mean? I recently ran one. I didn't, I didn't run shit! <laughs> well... Um... Awkward. Yeah, I guess Twitch auto ran it. Oh, an ad just popped up five minutes ago. Oh, that's so annoying. Fuck. That is very annoying. I didn't know. Oh well. No edge. I'll be right back. I go pee pee. Take us with you? I will! Chill, I will! I got you! Okay. Unplug this before your stuff breaks. Here. Boop. Okay, we're right back. Pee pee time. Pee pee time.
乾杯。Oh, I'll fucking close. Of course, yes. Why wouldn't you do that right away? Thank you. <laughs> as soon as I'm back. This is just what I wanted. How did you know? How did you know? It is time. It was time for what? Yeah, you're so kind to me, child. So. Bus. I was not ready to bust it out. It is what it is. It is what it is. If my plane goes down now, I can die happy. <laughs> Stop. It would never happen. Love Damn it. it when you get all cute, so cute. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's game it out. I exploited this entire this game's entire world to grenade to to grenade Jesus Christ. Can I fucking read to create infinite chaos? Let's go. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Enshrouded and today. Shrouded. And yes, I see this message right here. Your GPU driver is outdated. Please update for an ideal game experience. Yeah, we could do that. Or I could just hit or play. Or we can just oh ignore boy, that. Oh it's character creator time. <laughs> Which one of these short kings and queens do we want to play as? We're going to start with this guy. Because I'm going to keep the dream alive that we can look this good when we're his age. <laughs> now let's see. Which one of these hairstyles screams midlife crisis the hardest? I'm tempted to go with this one. One, or oh even maybe goodness. this one. But I think we all know we're going with this one. That's not even midlife crisis. That's but just looking good. Yeah, he is and rocking it. What we the don't fuck? Have that many color options. So I guess pure white it is. And if you're going to give us beard options, of course I'm going to choose the kind of overgrown gross mustache. Who wants to see that top <laughs> lip? I don't. And for their character name. Those mustaches always remind me of like C anemones. Because, like, it's like those little things that just leech food. Like, when you eat, it's just... They just, they just like, leech the food. You know? Like a sea anemone. A sea anemone. A mamanemone. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> and they just leech food. It's just like a, like a sea anemone. So every time, every time you munch food, it's just, it's just, it's just there in, in like the upper beard. Cause for some reason, it's always just ever so slightly too long. And it just like always grows looking. <laughs> A flavor saver. <laughs> Lord Mustache Vaughn Suffering. Oh, that doesn't fit. Oh. Lord Mustache it is. So our journey begins with us waking up in this weird little chamber, at which point we can gleefully escape. And here we are on Planet Enshrouded. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not actually what it's called. It's just what I'm gonna call it. See this guy over here? They wanted to learn the real lore of this game. Like what the <laughs> world name is. And the lore was just too deep. And no thank you. We're already too old. We're not gonna let that happen to us. Or our abs. Ugh, we can read their book though. <laughs> See, Ew. what did I tell you? It's a bunch of lore. Quick, run. Run as fast as you can. Don't let anything stop uh. you. Oh, except maybe <gasps> death. Well, I guess now we get to see what happens when you die. Oh, okay, we just come back to life. Well, thank goodness for that. Ah. Anyway, as I was saying, welcome to the world of Enshrouded. A game where I don't learn my lesson the first time and we see if we can jump down here without dying. But I feel like if Show we hit this just right, we can land on like the side of a slope or something and survive. Oh, <gasps> or not. Okay, oh, you know I thought, what? I'm I pretty you did sure what the game second. wants me to do die. is go into that cave there and then pop out right there. Oh, uh, yeah, see, there you go. Did you see that little thing fly over there and light up that lantern? Pretty sure that's yep. the tutorial. 
tutorial telling me this is the right way to go. The which means we won't be bonding. doing that at all. Instead, we're gonna try and see if we can find an alternate way around. Like, I bet <laughs> if we just go over here, hop on over here to this little spot, and then jump on this, ow, and then we'll just slide on down this, and we're home free! We did it! There we go, made it down without taking that structure over there. And look at that, I've made some friends. I'm sure if I just keep running, everything's Why gonna turn out. Why does this map look okay. so majestic, Oh my though. goodness, and it has. They've left me behind. Okay, so first things first. You see how there's, like, a camp here? We gotta do something like that. I mean, not just like this. This isn't our camp, nor do I want it to be. I mean, after all, I was gonna steal their things, but ugh. It's more lore <laughs> than it wants me to read. It's my ugh. personal kryptonite. Quick, run from it as fast as we can. Anyways, we can see this used to be what looks like a town, which is fine by me, because they're not gonna need these wood supplies anymore, and I certainly will, not to mention these barrels that are just in my way, and just apparently are hiding him. the most sacred of treasures. <laughs> Churning butter. Just kidding, that's not for us. Take that. All right, let's see what this treasure chest has for us. Oh, he good. Just kicks Items it. for killing. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna run around and ransack this place. And I could be concerned that there's a fire still lit, indicating that there's probably somebody still around. But why would I worry when I can just punch the campfire to death? <laughs> oh, wow. And nature immediately reasserted itself. Whoa. And no lore, I won't read you. But no I won't break the table. Ball, you're on. I can't break this, can I? Oh, well. There you go. And now that we've broken down everything, Don't not he nailed like, down. He's what like the those. Heck is this? Oh, what is he whoa, called? Whoa, whoa. Turns out there's some bad guys in this game that Come really want a piece me? of us. That's okay. We can punch them too. You just too. killed yeah. everything and, and like that's three I hits. That weird cloud we walked into. I think that means we're in the shroud or the enshrouded or it's enshrouded or I'm enshrouded. Whatever. Something is enshrouded. That's what matters most. And it looks like <laughs> this is where some of the bad guys live and give us stuff like shroud spores. A strange I don't, kind of I don't energy. Know. You know what I mean? It's unstable for now, but perhaps it can be refined. And that's great and all, but I'd rather find this right now. A rusty short sword. Anyway, as you can see, we can only yeah, spend a certain Bruce amount of time Lee. in the shroud. Why and it's even kind enough to remind us Bruce to leave. Bruce but of course Lee, right? we're not going to. <laughs> and instead, we're just going to wait and see what happens. Uh oh. Oh yeah, see, there you go. It's the shroud, and it's consumed us. Your shroud protection depleted. Remember to let it recover outside of the shroud. I'm sorry that I wasn't he paying close enough eaten. attention to my shroud refractory period. So yeah, it sounds like we should definitely limit our time in the shroud. Although something's yes, telling sir. me that at some points we'll have to go through it. Call it a hunch. Anyway, the next <laughs> order of business is we need to find a nice I place to feel set up way. Base. And I think I see the perfect spot over there somewhere. So I know I just said the thing about not going through the shroud, but we're gonna go through the shroud. <laughs> After all, we've got five minutes. Oh, yeah, and all I need to do is just to run make by it the over there, guys, right? And yeah. just like that, we're through the shroud. And look at all this beautiful space for setting up a base. I don't know about you, but this nice shaded area seems good to me. As soon as we clear out some of the riffraff, like this wolf that appears to be barking at a tree. Well, so be it. Sorry, this is my land now. The tree. I'm sure it He's understands. keeping us safe. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thank you for no, the blessing. Your okay, nuts. so in order to get started, we need to go to crafting. Here's the basic setup. We need these essentials. A flame altar, a workbench, and a construction hammer. And you'll notice they're all highlighted red. <laughs> because if we click on them, oh, but of course we don't have the required stone. Or in the case of this workbench, we need wood logs and string. Well, we know what it's time for then. The collectathon. Give me this for twigs and plant fiber, the which after grabbing enough of it, allows us to make string out of the plant fiber. Great. Beepee, and the resource collection like continues. Minecraft. Stone, of course, we can get out of regular stone like this after punching it a bunch, and the stone just kind of falls right <laughs> off it. What a deal. It made a oh, baby. Boy, a recipe you unlocked. scared it. Strike that. Multiple recipes unlocked. Like the ability to build an axe, which of course is for cutting it's trees, like here, or please a pickaxe, take my which is used Leave for me cutting alone. rocks. Well, don't look too upset about your new pickaxe. Get to mining. There, that's the good stuff. Oh, and Ooh. what a curious border we have now. What does this do? Oh, is this doing what I think it's doing? Am I carving oh, no. into the ground? Oh, no. I he has am found the terraforming the tools. Well, this help. is just great. Oh boy, do I love me some terraforming. Any game that allows this really has my needs in mind. But let's not get too excited. We're not gonna tear up the entire earth just yet. Because not only do we need stone, but we have to chop all these trees down first. Well, have to oh, is probably no. an overstatement. But there's always something a little satisfying about a little deforestation. And before you know it, <laughs> this looks like this. What? See, that's much better. Look at all this detail we didn't even know was here. You know, like this rock we can can see better in this little cliff side. Oh, and also this giant thing over here. Who could have known that was just sitting there hiding from us? Anyway, with all of that out of the way, hiding it's time in to build our base. Side. So first things first is we need to build that flame altar, because as the description says, the that's what lets us mark our home. Simulator. So after a quick crafting of that, let's see, where are we going to place this thing? Now, it doesn't want to let me shove this inside this <laughs> hole, but something tells me it's more about me needing to clear space for it. So let's even out the space a little bit. Oh, okay, God. and there we go. I sure hope this is enough. 
I guess we're about to find out. Oh yeah, there we go. Fits like a glove. <laughs> and now the game wants can you, me to commune with the Can you build plane. around it As now? You do. Here, let me break this down for you. Blah, blah, story. Blah, blah, ancient vaults. Blah, blah, one beckons. Blah, blah, space bar. Oh, thank God it added a marker to my map. I love not having to remember anything. I did <laughs> notice something kind of silly though. If you exit out of the game and then load back in, well, wouldn't you know it, all of the trees are back. Wow, how lucky am I? Oh, a whole boy. forest to cut down again. Well, now that has me wondering <laughs> something. If I just go back over here and chop down one of these trees, and then I go back into the menu, and I go over to the thingamabob, and then I hit play again, and then we load back into the game. Oh, uh, yes, there it is. Our magical tree friend is back. <laughs> oh, I think I know what might be happening here. So if we switch to our pickaxe, this border appears on the ground, which mm -hmm. as we know from placing our flame thingy, that this mm -hmm. border indicates the edge of our base. So I'm willing to bet if we make a hole right here, and then if we also make a hole right here, I'm going to assume that when we reload our mm -hmm. game, one of these is going to be here and one isn't. Okay, mm -hmm. well, there you go. Mystery solved. It looks like the only stuff with permanence is the stuff inside of our borders. So wait, what happens with something like this? <laughs> where some of it's inside, but some of it isn't. Let's just hammer the whole thing down and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. A little more like that. And definitely isn't like a gross eyesore now. Anyway, let's what? reload and see happen? what happens. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, and also, it looks like we can see the exact place where our base starts and stops. It's actually doing that? We no can way. also see that there's like a ceiling above us. So it doesn't look like we can actually go that high in the air. Or presumably that low. I mean, I assume. We're about to find out and find the lower limits of our base. Yep, there's the line. That's how far down we can yep. go, which goes down pretty far, by the way. How far, you might wonder? Oh, pretty far. See, there's the fire thingy, oh and here is the hollowed-out husk of the lower limits of our base. Now, I didn't dig it all up, but you can see that the boundaries are ever-present. But I gotta hand it to our little flame thingy. It does certainly give us a lot of space to work with. And you're probably <laughs> wondering, how do we get back to the flame altar? Well, that's easy. We just take the death experience over to it. Ta-da! <laughs> Easy Death peasy. Express. And now if we ever have to do some communing, this is the way we can do it. Which I'm sure we will be doing from time to time because I see options like upgrading the altar and extending its building range as Ooh. well as strengthening <gasps> the flame, also which gives us fun benefits hype? like how many altars we can have active, as well as I guess different kinds of shrouds we can go through, how long we can spend in the shroud, and then whatever this fourth thing is. I'm already tired of reading. And then all we have to do is find this random stuff. And then when we're done being intimate with the flame, you might next wonder how how do we get down? Also easy. Minecraft must keep inventory oh, wait, maybe on. not so easy. <laughs> well, surely there's a spot nearby that we can hit that won't kill us. Somewhere. Okay, plan B. First, we're gonna access <laughs> the altar, and then we're gonna extinguish this flame. Extinguishing the flame will reset the currently protected uh -oh. area after some time, or with the next start of the game. That's the plan. And now we'll have ourselves another leap of faith of a certain kind. Okay, now we're back at the beginning. And oh now all we need to do is just run all the way back to where we were. It couldn't be more simple. After all, it's just a haunted it jaunt away. It couldn't be okay, more simple. Okay, here we are again. It just oh, takes like three in-game days. Nature is trying to reassert itself. I don't know why I thought the flame what? altar would still be there in the middle, but whatever. It's not like we can't just place another one somewhere. In fact, let's make it what weird. For now, we'll just there? put one right here, which of course is going to alter the boundaries of our base now, which only extends that far. Actually, you know what? I bet we can make this work. I bet we can get it back into the center there. All we're gonna need now is our construction hammer. It can only be used within the range of a flame altar. Works for me. Okay, now that we have our wild glowing hammer, it's time to go into our wild glowing build mode. Look at all this fun stuff we can build. Walls oh and shapes and roofs oh, and no. stairs and windows That's and whatever. That's too much for all him. Right now, I'm just interested in this. Power. Making a single wall block, which let us just go ahead and place one right here. Oh. Missing materials. Craft blocks at the workbench. Okay, if you blocks. say so, we'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Which, let's see, where can we place this that is the most weird looking? Maybe up against this rock will do. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's exactly how we want our <laughs> I workbench. I hate this man Now we can so make much. blocks. Like these rough Why is stone he doing blocks. this to me? So let's go ahead and craft some. Okay, much better. Here we go. Okay, so we placed one, and we're going to place another. And then we're going to jump on this and place another and another. Actually, wait, what am I doing? That's exactly what this other stuff is for. Let's see. Let's find a building piece that really speaks to us. Yeah, here we go. This terrain tool for making a little puck. Excellent. And, and I can just put this anywhere I want. That's much better. Look at that. Now I can no, just jump on the this heck is that? and then make another one and just keep doing this all the way to the center. Just gotta expand the area a little bit more. There we go. Flame altar number two, <laughs> ready to go. Now we can go back over here to the first one and disable it. Give it a quick extinguish. Stare straight into its eyes until it evaporates right in front of you. And now that we've got that 
that squared away. And Let's get to making our base. Again. Down there in all that beauty. Of course, we're older and wiser now. And we know if we just jump off, we'll die. Good thing we can make crappy stairs to take care of this. Let's see. We'll take this and we'll just rotate it like that and okay, shove it into that's the earth. Normal. And then take another one and do the same. No. Whoops. I, uh, oh, well, it still works. Uh, that's all that matters. And then we'll just place another one uh, and another one and so on and so forth. What a master class of architecture. It looks now like I'm a waffle. For wa <laughs> Wait, why do those stairs look tasty? Now I want the waffle. Look at that perfectly nice waffle. Waffles for some reason. Okay, so now um, that we're um, down um. here, let's get the basics set up. And for that, we're gonna it start with like a workbench, which we're gonna place in a weird it. way, just like that. Yeah. Right, you know what? Actually, waffle. why stick with one? After all, it looks like I'm gonna God be using it. this like, thing quite a bit. Like so why not build a couple more of these? So I never have to go far to nice access one. Waffle. And let's see, one right there. Yeah, here we go. A little more like this. Finally, I won't have to go far to use a workbench. There's always gonna be one conveniently in my grasp. And now that we got that little problem out of the way, let's go ahead. Why does this, <laughs> you know, maybe he should just design horror games. Does this not look like when you play a horror game and you open that one forbidden door and you're just like, what the fuck, <laughs> like, what the fuck am I looking at? This is like horror game material. Just change the lighting a little bit, the atmosphere, remove the game, the, 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 the game, not the gameplay, what's it called? The, the voiceover, there we go. Remove the voiceover and boom, you have like an om nom 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 yes, little crazy looking uncanny valley gaming room. Uh, not gaming room, what am I saying? Game in like a horror game. Right? It would work. This is like horror game aesthetic. <laughs> An art installation. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what his gaming room looks like? Like, just, just his life. Like, if this is what he does as enjoyment, what does his life look like? <laughs> Imagine he has a child, right? And he packs, like, a lunchbox, but it's like, okay, but what if I just put the lunch just loosely into your backpack? And, like, what if I put this, like, very squishy cake just, like, into the side of your backpack so it just, like, squelches out? I wonder if inside the lunchbox, I only pour, like, water in there. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> sandwich with no bag. But he makes a sandwich for the little guy. He's just like, anyway, you're gonna have to assemble the sandwich yourself, though. I'm gonna make sure the ba baloney hangs outside your lunchbox and just gets, like, cut off, weirdly. I I put the mayonnaise in between your textbooks so you just have to scrape it off then. <laughs> you won't be a fucking menace, bro! Go ahead and access literally any of these. Now let's see what other kinds of stuff we can make. Ooh, the bread beds, is fireplaces, <laughs> illumination, doors. Full we love those. Yes, sandwich. please give me a couple of these. Ooh, and building those unlocked new recipes. Now we can do stuff like bowls and cups. I see we can really Balls. decorate our home or whatever we want to call this. I'm just glad we have options. Oh, and we should probably establish a fence around everything, right? We don't want to accidentally keep falling into our home chasm, do we? Oh, what a phenomenal job I'm already doing. Oh. Everything is already so even and lovely. Look, it's all for show anyway. Who cares? Uh-oh, we can't actually build over there. Oh, well, I guess this side just doesn't get a fence. And actually, neither does this side. That's fine. The only thing that's actually gonna matter is this. The front door. Ah, look at that. Home sweet home. Ah, yes. Just a hop, Beautiful. skip, and a stumble down here, and we're back into the world of desks. And what home is complete without a nice, comfy, crude mattress? And I don't know about you, but I love to be sleeping on a mattress on a near 45 degree <laughs> incline. Sleeping on the downhill slope so that all all the blood rushes to my head. <laughs> See, look at this. If this isn't comfort, I don't know what is. Okay, but enough screwing around. We clearly have a mission to do called finding the sleeping survivor, which I'm assuming is this chesty fellow right here. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You will have to venture through the shroud. Okay, so let's see. This is us, and I guess this is where we need to go. No problem. I'm sure we're ready. Oh, and can't forget to lock up. Bye, home. We'll see you soon. And now to let my brain go on full to lock autopilot door until we get to the marker. Completely ignoring every landmark that's probably death. interesting. Interesting. And instead, we're just gonna walk discs. right into this, which I'm sure is very friendly. Pardon me, everybody, coming through. Okay, we're here. <laughs> hey, bad guys, can you just hold on a quick second? Okay, well, if you just won't do that, minute, I'm just gonna man. lead you back to my base. Have Let's go. Patience. That's the spirit. Come this way. Now, just follow me into the woods. Hold on, I gotta unlock the door real quick. Come on in. My home is your home. 
Okay, it looks like I got him to fall down, and now they're all surprisingly docile just staring at walls over here. Okay, where was I? Ah, how nice it is to come in here and be able to wander he around completely them, no unhindered. Way. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Oh, God, more reading. Can I just not do that? Well, the piece of paper's gone, so let's go with yes. And I tried to get rid of the rest of the evidence, but it doesn't seem to want to break. Something tells me we need to go to the big glowy thingy. Hello, what do we have here? Hello? Hello? No, I guess we did it. You retrieved a survivor. Place them in your home with a summoning staff. Well, that was easy. Oh, okay, no. and back here at the homestead, I Are guess we need to make, here? like, a summoning wand or something. Oh, and how nice. The bad guys showed oh. themselves out. Oh, there it is, just sitting there waiting for me. Well, that's convenient. I love it. I wish every wand in every game looked kind of like a spaceship. Okay, let's see. How do we use this thing? <laughs> Tab to ready the summoning it looks staff. Like an, oh, I see we like can actually just summon ladle. them. Well, had I known we were going to have guests, I would have cleaned up a little bit. Don't worry, buddy. We'll make you a nice little room. Although I like that until I do. I just have an entire man on my quick bar. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pick up this table. Just, Don't you worry, buddy. I'm gonna build you something by hand. Just, yeah, there we go. A, a nice little room quick that quick is bar. definitely not just a nice little prison. Okay, buddy, you ready for your new home? Your palace of misery and suffering? Here you go. Well, he seems nice. What? Whoa, whoa, what is this? I didn't bring you back here to talk to me. And I don't think I need you to help me prepare. I mean, look at me and my no armor <laughs> or clothes. All right, fine. Let's see what he has to say. Except for the part where I actually can't talk to him. Well, I forgot to make myself a door, so I guess I'll make a doorway now. Hello, where were we? Yeah, I already got that part. Okay, so I guess this opens up new crafting menus. We can do stuff like make a forge to open up even more stuff. And yeah, there's resources and new options for other stuff. But obviously, I'm most excited about these dishes. Finally, dishes? I can feel domesticated with no! all metal interior designing. Well, I'm so glad I rescued you. Oh Hope you're God. comfortable because I'm covering you back up. I'll leave one square open so you can look at me pathetically. Okay, let's go out and... Oh, you got more to say? What do you want now? I think it's about time you face your fears and clear the shroud out of one of them elixir wells. What did I just say about conversing with me? All right, fine. Hold on. Let me get back in there so I can talk to you. I'm just too lazy to break down the wall again, so I'm just going to make a thing out of these things. Okay, here. Here I am again. What do you want? Okay, he really likes to chat, so but I'll just give you the highlight. Seek the elixir well. Raise the root. Set this evil ablaze. I'm counting on you. I'm so sorry you thought that was a good idea. Thanks for your TED talk. I'll be leaving now. Okay, so once again, this is us right here. And it looks like it wants us to go to this area right here. To this thing called the elixir well. Well, sounds good to me. I feel like we're ready for this adventure. No armor, no weapons, no problem. And this looks like he it's going to be fun. The weapon, Unsurprisingly, the it's machine. down there in the shroud. But before we do, I'm kind of curious to something. Can I break these things? I don't know what other purpose they serve. Surely if I hit it enough, something will happen, right? Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I'm sure it was here for thousands of years, but, well, we happened. <laughs> anyway, off to adventure. And once again, we got to make sure to be quick about it because we have a limited amount of time in the shroud. Stopping, of course, to waste our time and beat up these things. <laughs> anyway, onward to the elixir well. Hi there, pardon me. Yeah, just coming through. Oh, and look, it's just my luck. There's a return beacon understand. here. It's not only replenished our shroud That's timer thingy, do. but if we die, it'll respawn <laughs> us there. Don't follow me, okay, bad guys? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm glad we have an agreement. Oh, my goodness, this looks so mysterious. Mysterious. Oh, and you know what? Something tells me that is important. Uh -oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? You said you wouldn't follow me. That'll teach you, I guess. Hello? Hello? Who's this guy just chilling out over here? Oh, crap. Oh, I see he has a name. It's Fell Thunderbrute. What a stud. So this guy what clearly wants to kill us. Can't imagine why. But I think I have an idea how to take care of him. So here's what I'm learning. You see the ground we're on right now? If I try to hit it with our pickaxe, it doesn't appear to do anything. But over here, this looks to be dirt. And this I can affect. And I'm sure you can see where this is going. Going, right? I bet we don't have to deal with this guy at all if he can't find us. So let's see if we can get to that thing by just going under him. We are still, of course, going to have to contend with this timer here. But that's okay. We just die. And then we just reappear back up here just and everything is die. just don't fine. Worry. And resume what we were doing. <laughs> okay, where were we? Okay, I think we're getting closer. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Still not close enough, though. It's right there. And he's... Oh, no. It's oh, not boy. an exact science, but it's close enough. Okay, fingers crossed. This feels much better. Oh, yeah, there it is. Is right above us. And now let's see if we can get to it without being detected. And we'll just break a little space right underneath it and then sneak down in here. Uh oh, somebody's mad. Mr. Thunderbrute <laughs> is up there trying to hit me. And I keep seeing the thing above me shaking like jello every time he hits it, which makes me wonder is he doing little, damage to the thing he's little, trying little. to protect? I guess we could just wait this out and see. Maybe he'll take care of this problem for me. Okay, I've been watching him wail on this thing for a while now. And I think it's probably the case that he's not doing any damage. That's fine. We'll just do the hard work for him. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is 
is gonna be great and isn't gonna take any time. <laughs> Ow! By that I mean I gotta be really careful. Oh, thank you for the comfortable deathbed. Oh, okay, uh, yes. Where was I? What and were again, those? And again. Finally, found an Earth angle where he's pimples. not gonna attack me. And give it a final whack, and well. That's that. Oh, and he looks pretty bummed out, too. Okay, well, thanks. I'll be leaving now. No, don't it's worry. It's like, how dare you fix this well, place up and make it look sure nice? All of our fuck? battles are just that harrowing. Hey, jail guy, I'm back. And then he says to me, stop your procrastinating. Climb that ancient spire in the distance to reveal important landmarks. What do you mean, this thing? Well, okay. <laughs> Let's see who we got. What do you think we're going to find mean inside? The big Amazing the riches? Or, thing? oh, just a teleport pad. Okay, well, beam me up. Where are we going? Uh oh. <laughs> I sense puzzles. And that's exactly exactly what it is. Except I usually take this time to find all the antiques and break them. Look, if they didn't want me to break all the nice stuff, they shouldn't have left it lying around. Ooh, and a treasure chest, which I'm sure is filled with amazing riches. Like this wand that I'm not gonna take. Why take what? the items when we have the best treasure of them all? Destroying something with my fists. Yeah! <laughs> and it looks like this is the loot we're left with. Metal scraps. That's so much better Why than a weapon I can actually science? use. And then the rest of this is like, ugh, puzzles. You see this glowing thing up here? Here. Back at a workbench, we could craft a grappling hook and take care of this. But that feels like way too much work. I have a different idea in mind for how we can tackle this. Oh, I'm kind of no. curious if we can just build our way up to the top. So first already, things first, yep, can I put a flame altar around here? And it would appear thingy. that if we get too close to this thing, it tells us we cannot. How about a little farther away? Okay, there we go. I guess this is as close as we can build it. And now we've got some borders to where we can technically build. But just like the altar, we can't build any closer to the tower or else it gives us this message. Oh. That's fine. We can work with that. Because after all, we have a little thing called stairs. So here we go. And let's see how high we can go with... Oh, wow. The game already stopped me. It's probably because I hit the edge of where I can build. <laughs> Good thing we can just rotate and keep going. No, and two stop! whole stairways later, we're at the top of our boundary. So let's head back down to this thing and commute with the what's it called. And this is when we're finally going to upgrade our altar, which will double our building range. Ooh. But in order to do that, we need a shroud core. And I've come to realize I know just where to get one. Remember this guy? Yep, turns out we actually <laughs> have to kill him. Which, don't worry, that shouldn't be too hard. I'm pretty sure all we need to do is get him stuck on something. And then he should be nice and trapped. Let's see. Okay, how are you looking, buddy? Can you get out of that? Oh, no, too bad. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to punch you. Oh, he didn't like that at all, did he? And then after 10 I hate million him years so of much. Why does he always fight, make this well, work? That was the end of them. Wow, all of that hulking guy turned into this tiny pile of bones. Well, who am I to judge? And there we go. One shroud core. He was as pure well as muscle, his head apparently. for some reason. So we'll take those two things and that's it. Now we can go back over his here and upgrade the altar. And there we go. And we can even upgrade it again if we want to. We just need to upgrade the flame to level two and get more shroud cores. Now five might seem like a lot, but I already have a solution for this. Turns out if you restart your your game. Look what comes back. <laughs> Not just this Look thing, but the source back. of being able to get another core anytime we want. We just gotta punch him, and that's no problem for us. And that's what makes it possible for us to get, ta-da, another shroud Bye -bye. core. And that's how I've been able to get a whole lot of what? cores. And now to strengthen the flame, because if we upgrade this, we can put down four altars instead of two. And all of this stuff should be pretty easy to get, except for this spark thing. But luckily, I figured out where to get one of those two. Because if we're lucky, this thing will talk to us and bestow upon us some amazing knowledge. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. And then they give me the location of one. All we need to do is go from here oh all boy. the way down to here. Oh Sounds boy. easy. Let's go. Okay, we're no here. Progression. Just let's see. What do we got? Stand fast. It looks like we have enemies. And by that I mean basic literacy. Be gone <laughs> with thee. Anyway, the thing we're looking for is in here. We've recovered one spark. Yippee! And with that, we're ready to go. Come here, altar. And with one little strengthening, we can place four altars at once. And that's as far as we're going to take the flame level for now. Because one of the items we need is this scavenger matron head, which I'm not really sure where to get. Meanwhile, over here, an upgrade altar. Now we can upgrade this altar all the way to level three. That's triple the building area. Yippee! Now we have so much extra room to play in. But eventually, we're still going to hit as high as just we can build go. Another one. That's where those extra altars are going to come in handy. Right. Because now we can just place another altar and then upgrade this <laughs> altar as well. Good thing we have so many shroud cores. Oh, and now no. this one also has a huge building area. Um, okay. Okay, where were we? Going higher and higher, that's what. And here's the great thing. When we reach the top again, like we have here, like, yeah, we're gonna place another altar, but we can start recycling them a little bit. So let's just go down here and extinguish this one. And now that this one Stop! is freed up, we can just head all the way back up and reuse it up here. And this is what pretty much menace. how it goes. And then before you know it, we've built something beautiful. Honestly, probably a little too high. <laughs> Seeing as how the tower we're trying to reach is all the way down there now. And that's not the only but thing. I we can see pretty much everything but from what up here. Now? Who needs a map there? when you can score? 
scope out all the locations with your own eyes. Anyway, we still have one last dilemma, which is there's no way that we can jump and reach That's that. That's like gliders. Don't worry, we have a solution for that too, which Never is mind. this thing right here. The glider. <laughs> can be used to travel great distances <laughs> in an instant. Good, just what we need. And now there's nothing we fear. That is, as soon as we deploy it, which we're gonna do right now. Oh my goodness, oh, look at us it go. It looks like the a good flying news is we don't squirrel. look silly at all. But even if we dive bomb, it's gonna save us from dying. Somehow we survive that instead of shattering our vertebrae. What I mean to say <laughs> is this should be plenty for us to get up to that tower. So here goes nothing. Okay, Whee! easy, easy. Okay, now it's time to dive bomb right into it. Yeehaw! Here we come. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, well, something tells um. me they didn't expect people to come all the way up here. Something about the whole thing having no collision. And look how beautiful all my garbage looks. What an eyesore. Okay, let's see if we can actually just get down one step further, which I think is right here. And we can come right up here and commune with another flame. Oh, boy. Oh, and I see. These open up fast travel points for us. And also Yippee. reveal stuff, I guess. Well, that's convenient. Now we got question marks all over the place. That's great. Well, we have our own way of surveying the land. Like, I don't understand why we can't just use this system for everything. Like, see that thing back there? Why walk when we can just build our way over there? Not even particularly <laughs> nice looking either. We just need to get there. We don't need it to look pretty. <laughs> Oh, oh we're making tired. great progress. And it's been so easy, too. You just run all the way to the closest flame, extinguish it, and then just head on over to the edge and establish another one. Easy peasy flame alter squeezy. Flame. Okay, we're getting pretty close. It's probably about time we start thinking about our descent. Thank goodness we can build stairs downwards. As visually upsetting as this is. <laughs> Almost there. Coming in for a landing. And landing successful. Yippee! Thank goodness we're finally here. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. Look at these huge doors. What mysteries could this place possibly have for us? Well, there's no prompt to open the door, and I can't see a way in. Come on, can I please come in? <gasps> we can do damage, damage to the door. Well, if history has taught me anything, if I can take hit points off something, there's a chance I can break it. So let's see how this goes. No way. And we're in. Yeah, that didn't take any time at all. Let's go no see what our prize <laughs> is. Oh, certain death is what our prize is. And it looks like there's nothing to grab, as it turns out. Well, time for a consolation prize called Break Everything We Find. Hope you all had a nice dinner. Yeah, I'm looking at you. And also <laughs> you. Well, that was certainly worthy of our time. Quickly, back to the stairway. The we have so many this? more adventures oh. ahead of us. <laughs> Uh-oh, and I totally forgot about something. I forgot that as soon as these things don't have a flame altar, structures begin to despawn, which means essentially our bridge is a one-way trip. To be fair, it did take a while. For that section down there to start disappearing, I was beating on that door over there for like 45 minutes, which was like two in-game days. I still have faith in my terrible bridge and its ability to take us anywhere we want to go. Like over there. Well, shall we? I think we shall. Okay, brace yourself. We're oh so close. Well, this seems close enough. Let's do this. And huh, and coming in for a big broken landing. Ah, we did great. And just drop off the side. Whoops. Not my finest landing. Ending, but it got us there. And just like that, we've skipped another bunch of puzzles. Yippee! Thank God. And don't forget to break some of these priceless antiques while we're here. And it's not just for easily activating these towers and completely skipping over all the work the devs did to make them. It's also great for other stuff. Like, you don't even have to worry about passing through the shroud because you can just go right over it. But we can also look just down at everything and be like, shroud. hey, you know what? That looks interesting. Why don't I go down and take a look? And then we can just aimlessly sail all the way down as we hit terminal velocity before eventually opening <laughs> up our shoot and squirrel suiting our way over to it. Oh, wait, did you see that? Looks like another thing where we can skip ahead. Well, let's take a look. Here we are. Hello. Oh, hey, we didn't even mean to, but I think we found another person. Hey, are you in there? Wake up. I'm here to rescue you. I'm sure they're going to be thrilled. Oh, blacksmith guy. I have a new friend for you. How would you like a cellmate? <laughs> That's the spirit. First off, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Just give me a second. I need to sculpt the earth. And now it's summoning time. Good. Perfect. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hold on. Don't move. We're not done yet. Can I just add this stuff right on top of you? Yes, yes, I sure can. Well, no sense in stopping there. This is exactly what I was hoping for. How you doing down there, slugger? Aren't you glad I woke you up? I know I feel good about this. Oh, well, you know what? I'm getting sleepy. And look at that. It's <laughs> almost dark out life. in about six hours. And I've got to set up a new bed. It's nothing personal. Oh, there we go. Uh, Found uh, a spot. <laughs> and place. Uh, I think I'm going to like this setup. And I'm sure our new companions all agree. Well, this has been all sorts of fun. And obviously looking out at the world, there's still plenty <laughs> left to do. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this one. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. We can all see oh, what's about to happen. Oh, my fucking God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Josh will spend hours doing the most insane stuff, but will draw the line at reading. <laughs> yep, yep. That much is true. Yep, yep. Oh boy, oh boy. Last night you may have noticed. Okay, I, I'm not sure if I wanna watch this yet. <laughs> I just found it in my recommended. It has 2.5 million views. <laughs> and it's from four months ago. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? It has to be good, right? And well, we, we've been hit with. Literally Joey. <laughs> He's like, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> thank you, loyal. What if I've gifted? Thank you, 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 thank you. Me on the toilet, constipated, questioning my life and dietary choices. Nourishing. Today I'm going to be explaining why there's a hole in my wall. Yeah. Man, can you record properly? It's not that hard. Like, come on. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Okay, we lost Lily to all the cats. Cheer 500. <laughs> Goodbye, it's cat time. worked.
<laughs> I got you. To know oh, what you're, you're doing. Okay? <laughs> 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 the cow's like, bitch, you seeing this? But are you are you looking is you seeing this? Look at that shit. That was so good. What the heck? The channel is called Cat W. Wait, this was so good. I need more. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? Diseases, disease ridden child. Give me disease. <laughs> little wobble cat. <laughs> he just has a little wobble. Oh. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? Give <laughs> Over X. <laughs> you think he knows chat? <laughs> He's thinking, let him think. <laughs> let him think. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Coco, get out of there. Coco! <laughs> Say that again, bitch. Oh, God. 
<laughs> the freaking hair, Jesus Christ. <coughs> She never has legs. Mana is always legless. I always go, Mana! Mana has no legs! What did your legs go? And then suddenly, they reappear. Right underneath her. It's magic. Magical. <laughs> He's a fluffy boy. Permanent loaf. Loaf cat. Yeah, Mana is loaf. Joy doesn't loaf much. Mana is always loaf. Mega loaf. Mega loaf. Always loaf. <laughs> this one also... It has 1.5 million views. Life of a Clot Sire. A Clot Sire? Commonly known as the spiny fish Pokemon, it spends most of its life out of water. It can walk on land and breathe air. What? <laughs> its life is very different from most fish. A fish out of water, maybe, but they thrive here in Paldea. Wow. But what makes life on land so worthwhile? The answer lies in the mud. The mud. Cool, moist, and away from aquatic predators, the mud is the perfect place for clod sires to raise their mud. young. Mud. <laughs> but life on land is not without its problems. It's hard work to find a mate. The mud. Mucky. But before the clod sire has a chance to monkey. woo the females, a rival male has appeared. Among male clod sires, competition for females is fierce. It looks like a fight is inevitable. Ah. Wait, why is it actually well made? What the fuck? That was gonna be a funny meme thing. But I skipped in like five minutes. <laughs> Weighing over 500 pounds, there is devastating power behind each strike. Smack! No one is leaving this battle <laughs> He holds his crown and forces the intruder back to the murky waters. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? That was so good! Wait, is there more of this? Wait, this was so funny! In a world... In a world where untamed wilderness and extraordinary creatures collide... Right, that was so well made! What the fuck? Get ready for an fuck? adventure like no other. Experience the untold stories of the delicate balance between Pokemon and their environments. Oh. Welcome <laughs> to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> Whose Blender School project is this? This is so good, what the heck? The goodest boy animation test. Oh. 
Pam 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 He clean. Oh. oh. I need, I need more of this. Please make more. <laughs> this is so good. What the fuck? What do we have here? Oh, just YouTube. We still have Daily Dolls. And we also have this one. I'm curious what this one is about. Steep discounts for several new and trending titles on Steam, such as Helldivers 2. But if you purchase these games, you might be confused when you open them up and realized they weren't what you paid for. This scam set off an insane chain reaction, eventually to leading day. to the removal That's of almost 800 games boy! from the Steam store. But it's also led many to be confused. After all, Steam responded to the scam almost immediately, and there's no way the developer... Why is the background just like... A speed run, a random speed run. <laughs> Expected to get a payday from Valve when they only Fucking pay love out Klotz at the end of each bro. month. He is In so this video, cool. I'm going to explain to you the real reason love behind him. the scam. Because what we saw last night wasn't the actual scam, it was a prelude to the scam. And that scam might very well still happen despite Valve. Ah. Uh, too long. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Whoa, whoa, yo, whoa. Yo, yo. Oh, what did that dude do, do? Wait, what? Hello, everyone. This is catch your him? daily dose of internet. Whoa, whoa, yo. Did that grown ass man just try and push over like a freaking kid just because he's doing that? What? A fucking grown ass man! Male Karen? <laughs> what the fuck? Did I push a, some freaking random ass kid? Like, bro, I get it. Maybe he's doing it on property he isn't supposed to do it on, but like, how's that your problem? Don't make it your problem! That law's also gonna be expensive! Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. Jesus Christ. She tried to do her own makeup for the very first time. Oh. The Morphe by Manny MUA. <laughs> wow, I love it. One of my wow. subscribers recorded a video of a tornado that somehow spawned on an indoor pool. Huh? Whoa. How? A police officer arrested a delivery driver but still managed to deliver the food. Oh. Uh. <laughs> No, he got arrested, but we wanted to make sure you got your food, so you guys have a good night. You guys are he got arrested. Don't mind me. He just... Whoa! Whoa! Wicked! Mira, mira! No, el que viene de abajo. No! Chad! No! This has to be the most talented dog I've ever seen. Oh. Those people do that to skaters oh and BMX guys. They are carrots. We have a rule in the community, just oh ask us oh nicely to talented. leave. That is I mean, the yeah. dog trick I've ever and seen. And even if they don't leave, I get it. Oh if it's like on an art piece or whatever, it's fucking <laughs> annoying, but like... Don't make it your problem. <gasps> so I guess... So, so quick with the not two. Afraid of spiders. Simon! Cortala! Simon, no! <gasps> no! Simon! She tried to scare her mom. Go, I no idea that she was home. <laughs> Whoa! 
Wicked. Oh, fuck yeah, baby! If you go to Peru, it's pretty common to see alpacas jump into cars. <laughs> this YouTuber attached a hand pipe to a hot air balloon. Okay. This poor cat couldn't figure out how this what works. This looks like Joey, what the fuck? That's literally that Joey, is what? Video. Are we hope you enjoyed? Chad, what the fuck? That's literally Joey! This how poor cat couldn't wait. figure out how this works. <laughs> that is the end of this video. Are we hope you enjoyed? And I'll so see we you guys got again very, very soon. Later. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Crap? This is your daily dose of internet. I think bees are trying to talk to Whoa. us. Whoa! That is so cool. What the heck? A fight broke out at school, and this teacher went to go stab it. That's so wholesome, what the fuck? You are so scary! Whoa. What? <laughs> That's Joey! <laughs> Fucking his big ass floppy ass primordial pouch! Shanghai guy tossing his can to go catch a rat. A group of scientists wanted to show what it'd probably be like to have the same vision as a bee. What's that? What's that? You can't tell me I got bee vision and then not tell me what the fuck that is! Sunscreen? What, sunscreen? Piss pog! Imagine screwing up so badly that a baby tells you to leave. <laughs> the attitude of this toddler, what the heck? No way. Wait, that's sick. What the heck? This delivery driver what? pulled off a big brain move. Slide. Yes. This guy asked his friend to record their marriage proposal. right just remember just remember be scared that is the end of this video scared. we hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys again very very soon later later hello everyone this is your hello. daily dose of internet <laughs> No. 
Here, you do it. So, this <laughs> made me uncomfortable. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa! She wanted to buy something, but this bird had other ideas. <gasps> the fuck do you even do in that case? She doesn't have the money and he ain't getting it. Do you still give it? But like, he makes a loss, but... Does she just... But then she makes a loss. Ah! <laughs> Yoink. This guy in New York City was seen controlling pigeons. Why do his this pants look like he's wearing a mocap suit? Eat this without eating the medicine. Oh my goodness. It's a golden retriever. Just drop it on so the floor and go... Ah, 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 ah. Don't do... No, ah, ah, ah. And he will eat it. All of it. Just raw. Just, just like that. Just drop it on the floor and go... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Works on Labradors too. I can't tell if that was a lab or a golden, but it looks like a golden. So, what would you do in this situation? It's uh, funny because it's true, oh right? Oh It'd be like that. Oh my god. Oh my if god. I give something to Mana, she's like. <laughs> if I throw it across uh, the room, she's like. <laughs> I just found out that there are iridescent plants that change colors depending on the angle of the light. Ooh, cute. This guy managed to. Dude, I'm telling you, car. golden retrievers and labs look so similar car. to me. I need to see like the whole dog to like kind of tell. Oh, hit the cop car. First responder. She wanted to see if she could get her cat to turn off the light. Oh, Joey would. He so would. Oh, let's <laughs> go! What is that? Oh! That looks good, though. It looks like a little crispy that thing you're putting. Video, or you hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you He's guys again. He's a good boy. Soon. Look, Later. he has the cat mouth. No, I missed it. He had, like, the, the oval mouth. He has cat Hello. mouth. Or you hope you enjoyed. And look, he has oval mouth. Oval. <laughs> I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Oval. Later. Hello everyone. This is your Hello. daily dose of internet. This guy got a tattoo and immediately passed out. Uh oh. <gasps> Good Luckily, job, the tattoo artist. Was artist. able to catch him before he got hurt. Midas. Hey. Holy sh! Oh my gosh. Blizzard. Blizzard. Okay. With the technology behind the Apple Vision Pro, people are learning that they can. Okay. Am I the only one who is? Blizzard. Blizzard. Okay. With the technology. I'm a big fan of the Apple Vision Pro, right? Big fan, I think. I think it's pretty fucking cool. Am I the only one who really hates the fact that the eyes come through? <laughs> I think pretty much everything about it is pretty cool. But like, if I'm wearing a pair of glasses, make it look like I'm wearing a pair of glasses. Don't, don't make this eye thing. Don't, don't do the eye thing, please. Don't, I don't like the eye thing. It looks weird. It looks strange. It doesn't even actually track your eyes. It's just... I don't like the eye thing. It's... Technology uh. <laughs> behind the Apple Vision Pro, people are learning... If that I they wear can something, make it look like I'm wearing something. But that is really funny. <laughs> that
that is very funny. <laughs> This guy wanted to destroy this giant snowman. Go tackle that sh Why? <laughs> 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 but why try in the first place? Is that a monkey? What the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> Here's a cool device that allows you to properly transport your sauces. You can easily pick up your spilled honey or ketchup and move it somewhere else. I don't want to transport my sauces. <laughs> Transport, can you transport the mustard? <laughs> she wanted babe, to get babe. this airport transport worker's the mustard, phone number please. before taking off. <laughs> Squirts the mustard onto the counter. Babe, can you go grab the mustard for me, please? It's on the counter. <laughs> Here are some of the traps American soldiers had to deal with when walking through the jungle Finally, during the Vietnam War. Oh. Something with the and they saw what we call roll out of these wars. You notice more clearly, you will see there's gonna be a hook. Finally! On the spike. Dude! I had I saw an image. Why? I think it's weird since people have started wearing them everywhere. I saw a picture of a guy who had his on at his wedding with his newly wed wife. Ooh, that's weird. We don't even have them here in the EU yet. I suppose you could buy it in the US and ship it, but I'm not even sure if the if all everything works and connects properly if it's shipped to a country where it isn't supposed to work. <laughs> yeah, they're currently US only. But dude, I saw a video about Vietnam traps and what they did, and that shit is so smart. Fucked up, but like Dude, the stuff they did is so smart. I saw an image now. I'm like, whoa, mind blowing. <laughs> Why is everyone always this screaming? What's it gonna a new change? To run faster. These people were wearing t-shirts of their favorite band without realizing that they were right behind them. <laughs> it's so wholesome. <laughs> One of my subscribers made a Super Mario obstacle course for the cat. That the is heck? the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Even Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Head, this guy had an allergic reaction and they had to use an EpiPen. The person mm. buying has to send a bunch of measurements to Apple to fit each headset perfectly. Mm -hmm. Wait, what did you do? I didn't see, sorry. Daily dose of internet. This guy had an allergic reaction and they had to use an EpiPen. Oh boy. Good night. That doesn't look good. Oh Don't boy. Worry, he was fine and he was taken to a hospital just to be safe. This Jesus. company wanted to prove how effective and safe their bulletproof windows are. <laughs> Thank you. I love it too. Yeah, it's so ready. nice and messy. Ready. It's so good. Ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Why would they test it of a person That's inside? Fun. They can't just put a camera there and call it. Serious? And call it a day? <laughs> oh God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this person God. accidentally dropped their phone into alligator infested waters. Oh God. Oh, yummy. A lithium batteries. Mm. <laughs> yummy. Crunch. Mm. 
<laughs> Mine is one phone. <laughs> I know about the blue screen of death, but I've never heard of the black screen of death. I was not reading Anna's. I was... What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I guess this is what the last day of school looks like in some places. Oh, we did that at my school. It is such a mess. If those goggles will have an add-on thing later for a goggle cover or something. They better. I do not like that ice thing at all. I rather not. I think this thing just dropped the hardest beat of 2024. <laughs> what the fuck? What About a week fuck? ago, these orcas were trapped and surrounded by ice off the coast of Japan. They had oh. to keep moving to prevent the ice from freezing. The good news is that they were only trapped for a few hours as the ice eventually shifted, allowing them to swim to open waters. Give what the heck? Give me a back. Give me a back. Is that a common occurrence? They seem to deal with it just fine. Give me back. Like they seem to be like they seem to figure out what to do. Is that just like a common thing that happens there? That is the end of this video. What the fuck was you? <laughs> and I'll see you guys again. I was a part soon. of this. Later. I will never. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. <laughs> Who knew that working at a brewery could be so dangerous? Whoa. Normal face? Normal face. <laughs> Just why? She managed to find the off button on this cat. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. Everything's fine. <laughs> everything's everything's okay. So, are trucks made of paper, or is this sign really, really strong? Uh, oh wow! Uh, oh, well, babe, do not get out this car. Do not get out this car. There is no he way is he isn't leave. noticing it. There is there is no way, right? There's no way it's, it's on the mirror. I need a car opener. <laughs> Someone who drives trucks tell me that there's no way you don't realize this at some point. This has to be the bravest dog I've ever seen. Oh, he noticed. <laughs> he just accepted. Oh. You would feel it, right? You have to. Oh, all they had to do was turn like left the and back up. They knew what they hurt. did, right? <laughs> what? You're gonna get rid of the doy? <laughs> For some reason, this dog started glitching. Got you. <laughs> She decided to run away because her mom made her a cleaner room. Because I told her to clean your room? Yay. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Sometimes you just have to let kids do that, you. man. Okay, They're weird like you. that. They're weird like that. Just have to let them do it. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And <laughs> so I'll see you guys got more again later soon. Later. <laughs> Is that you bring more? Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Because of the <laughs> anesthesia, she didn't recognize her boyfriend after waking up from surgery. You look a little weird. But you're cute. <laughs> that cute guy's kissing me! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <gasps>
What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> this YouTuber saw that there was no law stating that he couldn't do this, so he went and built himself a replica World War One tank in his own garage. So this is pretty scary. Artificial intelligence is getting better and better every day, and all these clips that you're seeing right now that I'm talking over are not real. Uh, they were what? made by AI. What? No way! Okay, that one does look a bit off. What? My dad Frogs. tried to run away at this. five years old like. with a granola bar and pocket full of dog food. <laughs> he made it to the end of the street, Keck. <laughs> so we just have to let him do the thing. These birds flew in and stole all the fish he was trying to catch. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's raining. The whole house is raining birds. Raining again. This has to be the craziest magic card trick. I'll give it one more perfect unshuffle, and now it says it twice. So it's unshuffling the red cards from the black cards. Do one more, and you can see they're unshuffled what? completely. What? Every day, the student what? sprints between classes, and everybody stops. Why the fuck? Jesus! Fucking Every wicked! Every day, the student sprints between classes, and everybody stops to cheer him on. He's making it! Yippee! Just <laughs> <laughs> on a hack so that you can get unlimited gas. <laughs> and it's full. Well, yeah. Extra full. Look at there. For some reason, the sensor on the sink works for a different sink. <laughs> that is the end of this video. Are we hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very very soon. Later. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. The police in Peru dressed up on Valentine's Day to get a suspect to come out of their house. But did I just read that right? You bought 240 euros worth of Chinese food? Who the fuck you feeding? The whole apartment complex? What? How do you spend... How many hats are you feeding? How, how do you spend that much? What? <laughs> what the heck? You're a freaking family of 20. <laughs> Whoa, wow, wait, that better be some good quality food. How the heck? You're gearing up for like the Ice Age or something. Whoa, <laughs> Jesus, that's not a respect. She thought she had a secret admirer, but got arrested instead. Everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. The police in Peru dressed up on Valentine's Day to get a suspect to come out of their house. She thought she had a secret admirer, but got arrested instead. Dude, that is crazy!
This guy put an electric muscle stimulator on his face. And why? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, but why? What the fuck? <laughs> god. <laughs> that can't be healthy. What the fuck? Okay, so listen up. I'm not gonna say this again. Sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, and then reverse all the way over and up. There's your clutch brake gas. Now you're ready? You um. got this. Uh. This has to be the weirdest sound I've sure. ever heard from a choir. Yeah, sure. We ready. This has to be the weirdest sound I've ever heard from a choir. What the fuck? That's a horror movie thing! What the fuck? <laughs> that one is just so sad. How do you even end up in this type of situation? What? You want to hug him? I wish I could, yeah. And kiss him? Yeah. Can you love him? Yeah. Bro, was your dad dead? Bro, no one believes me that my dog is scared of Kim Jong-un. He does not like him. Who is this, Johnny? Who is that? Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, you tell him. This baby gorilla really wants his toy. Oh, sweet boy. Yeah, I want that. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna fit, yeah. I found a company that makes ah. really trippy vases. What? 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 And oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> what the? I can barely hold him. What the? But anyways, he what? is. The last time we checked, he was twenty-four point four pounds. This guy proposed How? to his girlfriend at a Waffle House. How? I just have one question. How? Will you marry me? Waffle. <laughs> 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 What'd you say? I will be here. Okay. He's cleaning, bro. He's making sure video. he's nice Are and clean. Enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. In case you didn't know, synchronized swimmers put gel tin in their hair before going to a competition. No, just This magician oh, figured snuffy. out how to move his fingers around. This Norwegian news reporter picked a really bad time to do a segment. <laughs> This beaker of oil looks like it's empty, but look what's hidden inside. Another beaker of oil. Ah! And look what's inside this beaker. Another beaker of oil! That's right. Another beaker of oil. <gasps> and look what's inside this beaker. That's 10 right. kilograms Another of cocaine! Of oh. And look what's inside this beaker. <laughs> a tiny beaker of oil. Imagine having a teacher what that the writes heck? with invisible chalk. I don't know how this keeps happening, but these students rediscovered a lunchbox they left at school from a year ago. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, that's Noobie's room! What the fuck? 
After a few days, he finally finished his puzzle. Yay! Yay! Yippee! Oh, no! that their cat refuses to eat their food unless they also have a side sound. <laughs> I guess he most needs babies are born with incredible grip strength. <gasps> he healthy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you did it! So why are pony fights so goofy? Okay. Whoa! This little guy just discovered what shadows are. <laughs> that will be a that joey thing to video. do. We hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. damaged. My car is damaged. Is where? Is right your... here. If you want to see, you oh, can come up. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Well, okay, what the fuck was that? Oh, <laughs> okay, at man, first that was funny, now turkey. it turned weird. Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Like she left that brain cell at home for sure! What was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that, bro? Would you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. <laughs> This poor mailman got attacked by a turkey. Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get out of here! Get out of here! This guy is trying to get an interview and interrupt him. I've been with this northern white trainer for... <laughs> that is Najin. Okay. She always okay. make a long one. <laughs> Here's some good news. After four years, fuck? this dog finally learned how to use the doggy door. Come on! Come on! Come After on. four Come years! On. No, don't do that. Don't do that. It never ends well. Don't do that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What are the odds of their phone landing like this? Oh. Whoa! This guy did not want to pay a parking fine. Does anyone know what this dolphin salamander okay. thing is? What is that? This guy? I need to pee, but like... <laughs> he's just watching me! How weird! That I want that bathroom, what the fuck? So the students can go to medical school for free. Yo, chat! The Albert Einstein College of Bathroom Medicine fun. <laughs> will be tuition free. Let's fucking go! <laughs> I would let him watch me. I would let him watch me. This is called the Atlatl, and it's one of the oldest hunting weapons our ancient ancestors used. Oh. This YouTuber decided to make his own version and try it out. 
Whoa. Interesting. I knew the blades of a wind turbine were big, but this puts it in perspective. Damn! How heavy must that the truck be to just like offset that weight to have it at such an I'll angle? Again very soon. Whoa! Later. Hello everyone, this is your Damn. daily dose of internet. So you guys need to leave the property for 24 hours, and if Why you don't you right now, I'm going to make it six months. Would you no. kiss me though? <laughs> no. Okay, it's now six months. No, leave the property I can't. <laughs> this guy found a plant that can give you a temporary tattoo. Oh! Wow. That looks cool too. I found someone that makes art out of cardboard, but that artwork creates a shadow of a different piece of art. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. He has my vote. <laughs> I yes, think we live sir. in the future now because some Target stores in the USA are installing these robot manicure machines. What the fuck? This person suffers from epilepsy and frequently has seizures. Her dog will come over to comfort her whenever she has one. Oh. It might be a little scary, but after a few minutes, the seizure stops and she returns to normal. friend in school on a ski trip she frequently China had seizures has air taxis and she now. slept they next to me first customer and it was the weirdest ago. thing it's ever quieter, she had a seizure midnight and, and i didn't know what to helicopter. do i knew she had it but like seeing it the first time it got me so like i was like whoa no way we just kind of let her have it our instruction was just to like let her be just make sure that she fell- okay, in her seizure she fell off the bed, so like, we put a pillow between like- The bed had like a hard wooden frame, so we put a that pillow between like the bed frame and like her banging her head against it, and that was all good after like a few minutes. And then she was very tired and eepy after. Like, <laughs> it's funny how all of us in the room, we like, we just couldn't watch and like go to sleep after and she's just like anyway uh, that's over i'm tired good night this guy discovered a we're like wait <laughs> we can't fucking sleep <laughs> one of my subscribers recorded this video of their delivery driver dropping off a package and then stealing it Oh yeah, I bet it's physically that exhausting as well. Video. She was sweaty as enjoyed? hell after. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is- Wait, I think- I think my playlist is empty. That is indeed. That is it! <laughs> Hello everyone! Bye everyone! <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I never- that- that just like awakened- um, memories I didn't know I still had. The, seeing that seizure, I was like, wait, on the ski trip, my friend. Because, like, you know how when you go on school trips, usually you are, like... Usually when you're on school trips, you're, like, uh... You have to sleep with, like, a bunch of people in one room, right? So, I don't remember if we were, like, three or four people. I think we were four people in one room. But I don't know if we were officially allowed to be that many people. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so it just happened middle of the- I didn't! So she was She's sleeping like, in my bed, now right? Now that I've thoroughly terrified you with my seizure, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Sleep well. Sleep well. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy because I'd, I woke up because the bed was shaking. Like, I guess that's the start of the seizure. I thought she was cold. So I was like, wait, am I hogging like the blanket or something? What's going on? Like, I feel the bed like vibrating. She was just like shaking, like as if she's cold, like shivers. So I was like, wait, is she, 
Is she cold? Am I like hugging in a blankie? Do I have to like cover her up? So when I was in the process of covering her up a bit more proper, she was more or less covered up, but I just covered her up just more. Well, she alone? No, no, we slept all in one room. Like, there was like... Our hotel rooms at the ski trip were like one king, like, like one double bed. And so I and my friends slept in there. And then there were like quote unquote children beds, like single beds also in the same room. So our other friends slept in those. And so yeah, I never even knew what the fuck a seizure was. I never experienced one. I knew she had seizures, but like in the moment I didn't think of that. So um... It was so scary first time, but yeah, at first I thought it was she was cold because it was just like shaking as if she's shivering. So I was like, well, she is covered up, but I covered her up a bit more. But then it got worse and worse and worse. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And then she was shaking so much, she like, um, she like rocked off the bed and she, she banged her head against like the bed frame, which was a hard wooden frame. So I just took, uh, at first just a blankie, but... But the sound of her head like hitting the, the blankie wasn't thick enough, so then I eventually managed to veg um, the pillow in between. And then it was fine. Uh, it was just... That was it. it. It's just like... It felt like eternity, but it probably was just like a minute or so of her just like violently shaking. But yeah, we made sure the, the, the pillows in between, so all was good. And then eventually, when the seizure stops... Like... I don't even know if she's fully conscious during it or not, like, I have no idea. But like, she basically quote-unquote woke up after... It's like, it's like after the seizure finally dies down, she then wakes up, uh, like, a while later. I have no idea how seizures work, I still don't. But... She was super exhausted, super sweaty, she was just like beat up and she just went straight back to bed she was like oh i guess i have a seizure and then a teacher walked in because um while i took care of like the seizure and make sure she doesn't bang her head i i told the other roomie to um go get the teacher right so by the time the seizure was completely over the teacher then comes in and uh yeah he asked if she peed herself i guess that's a thing that can happen when you have a seizure but she didn't in in her case but uh, yeah, she was super sweaty and hot and she just crawled straight back to bed and just went to sleep. <laughs> she was like, passed the fuck out after. She was like, yeah, I'm really tired after seizure, so um, yeah. And she just, she just went back to bed and <laughs> we were all like, shook and she just went back to bed. <laughs> yeah, I hope she's doing great. School was the last time I saw her, so like, yeah. We didn't even go to the same class at all. Like. I don't know how other schools handle this, but we have parallel classes. So we are in the same grade, but not in the same class, if that makes sense? So like, our class consists of like... 25, 30-ish students. But there is more grades that also have that many students. So it's like... You are like, grade 12A, and then grade 12B, and grade 12C. So we have like... We call them parallel classes, so it's the same grade and everything, but just a different classroom with different kids. But everything is the same. We even partially have the same teachers, just at different times. So, yeah, we didn't even go to school together like that. She was only in a parallel class. She didn't even go to, like, my class. But, uh... Yeah. Well, she just knocked the fuck out after, and then in the morning, she it had to get up pretty early. She was still beat, and she's like, yeah, it's, it's normal, it's whatever. I, I'm i beat up after, this shit is exhausting, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> I see. <laughs> a section of a grade, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty normal in Europe. I'm not sure Americans are um familiar with the concept. I mean, yeah, I don't have seizures, so I can o I can only imagine how, how much that must take out of her. We used to have a dog with seizures, though. That dog did pee herself all the time. But, you know, it's a dog, so... Apparently, it can probably happen to humans, too. I feel like animal seizures just, just look very different than a human seizure. Like, 
that just looked like she was trying to hurt herself. Like, we had no idea she was barely conscious during it. Thank you, Ghosty! Never seen one? That was the only... First and only time I've seen a human seizure. I've seen a dog seizure many times, but... I guess they're much what more chill. What have we learned from this story? Lily must be very selfish. Why? Taking up half the bed with her size. <laughs> very selfish. Very selfish. SH kept short <laughs> dance. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was... That was... An exp that was a memory... A core memory that was unlocked by seeing that, that girl have a seizure. Because I was like, wait... Seizure? Violently shaking? Wait, I remember that! <laughs> From the fucking ski trip! <laughs> she was a badass bitch too. She was like one of the few snowboarders that we had in our, like, ski trip. I've only seen it once, but it's... But it too is burnt to my memory. Dude, it's like... You don't forget. It's just like... Seeing a person so like violently out of control. It's like, whoa, that's a bit shocking. You know, obviously so much worse for the person having the seizure. But, you know, it's also... It's something that's mentally... It, 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 it burned into my memory. Like, I can see it so vividly. It's just like, yep, that's, that's the bed. And she fell off the right side. And then she banged her head. And then I tried to... Veg blankie and pillow into there, hoping that she wouldn't suddenly smash her head like the other way where she can hit other things. So I don't have pillows for those. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably handle it much better nowadays because I kind of know what's happening. If I if I saw it, I would not panic as much and be like, "What the fuck is happening?" and like. Be almost crying, I'll just be like, yep, that's a seizure. I'ma get a pillow right away. <laughs> I'ma I'm a pillow everything up right away. <laughs> wow, that first time was burned into your memory, for sure. I guess, yes. And you have to experience down. It's one of those experiences you don't forget. Like, now I'm prepared. No matter at what point in my life, if tomorrow or in 50 years, I will be prepared. <laughs> Oh, and I never had a seizure either. I've only ever seen one IRL. Yeah. <laughs> Not replaying that side quest! <laughs> After I saw, I researched more about it to be more prepared. Yeah, so apparently, one thing I, I researched as well, and one thing you have to make sure of is that very, well, not very rarely, but rarely uh, people with seizures can bite their tongue. So you have to... You should attempt to make sure to like make sure their mouth is safe and they don't bite off their tongue and then choke on like their blood and stuff. So that's one thing you're supposed to make sure. Like just shove something into the face so the tongue is like in the back so it doesn't get bitten and stuff. And don't put your hand there unless you don't want your fingers anymore. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Definitely common enough to make people aware of the tongue. Yeah. Yeah, make sure the mouth is clear, vomit and everything. Uh, apparently they can pee themselves. I did not either, even though our dog always peed herself. But I don't know. It just looks very different. A dog seizure versus like a human one. Yeah, you shouldn't touch them. Like you shouldn't like hold them down or anything. Like all we did was, well, I did, was put the pillows because she she banged her head hard against the bed frame, which was made out of hard wood because she fell off the bed mid-seizure. So, yeah, that was the only thing we did. Like, uh, just just uh, wedging a pillow there. We, we didn't touch her in that regard, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, just don't hold them or anything. Just, just let them have their thing, but like... If it's on, if, if any hard objects are nearby, just like wedge a pillow into the vicinity of hard object real quick. Mm -mm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ta it is time! It's the time again! 
No! Yes! I now have two days off. Very exciting days for me. Thank you, Siva! Have a good two days. I will! I'm excited. I will try and eat some. I still have... Oh my goodness! I never told you guys! Oh, Chad. Oh my goodness. Remember when I told you I had... I ordered dinner earlier, right? Oh my god, that was so cute. Ask and hug. Thank you! Thank you! Remember us. So I ordered a poke bowl, right? And um... I order from this place fairly regularly. And I usually always order the mini because that one time I didn't order the mini. Um... Like, uh... It was just too much food, right? It was it was just too much. So when I order it, um edging the goodbye. <laughs> when I ordered the mini, the guy called me immediately because I put so many extra ingredients, expensive ingredients, on my thingy that like he's like you you overpaid. Do you just... I... There isn't... There isn't like... A mistake in the system, but like... You overpaid. And I'm like... What do you mean overpaid? And he's like, yeah, well... So and so, do you just want the medium instead? And I'm like... Ah... That is so sweet, but like... The main reason I'm not getting the medium is because I just can't finish it. <laughs> and Pokeballs... Yeah, there just isn't enough room in the mini one to get everything in there because like so the mini one comes with well poke balls obviously come with like sushi rice at the bottom as base and then it comes with um this one comes with salmon Had a boy who warned us about his epilepsy in school told us to shove our sock in his mouth if he had a seizure luckily never happened didn't want to have to scar that boy further <laughs> thank god thank god <laughs> But yeah, it'd be like that. I can bite the tongue real bad. And not only is it dangerous for, well, like in the seizure, but like, bro, imagine coming out to seizure and finding out you bit your tongue off. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I would much rather have a sock in my mouth. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? All oh, right. So he caught me being like, well, you put, you know, you're overpaying. And I'm like, I get that, but if I order the medium, I may get more food for maybe even less money. But I'm often throwing the extra away because it's just too much. So I order the mini one and I just order a bunch of extra ingredients on top. One, because there's a minimum order amount, like a minimum pay I have to hit to get it delivered. But also because, you know, the rice is very filling, but the ingredients on top are just like extra little yummies. So I like to have like the extra tuna on my salmon. I like to have the extra avocado. It comes with avocado, but I just like a little extra. It comes with masago, but like I want more masago. And like, it doesn't come with cucumber, but I really want cucumber in there because it's just such a nice juicy crunch that it adds. And just like a bunch of things and I'm like, well, I just order these extra things because I like the toppings. But the rice is just too filling, so I, I just throw it away. So yeah, he called and he was like, ma'am, you're overpaying. And then I explained to him why I didn't want like the medium and he's like, okay. I will make sure I will make it extra tasty and extra good for you and I'll get you an ice cream. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's <was> so cute. <laughs> Fucking Giga Chat. Sounds yummy, yeah. Yeah, he literally called me to like help me get the best value and I'm like, it's okay. I get it, it's more expensive this way, but like... I'm privileged enough to be able to afford that and I... Like, I'm, I'm one of the few privileged people who can afford to overpay to not contribute to, like, the whole food base and extra plastic and stuff. So, like, I might as well. 
You feel me? But he was like, ma'am, you stupid. <laughs> he was such a giga chat, bro. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you know if you're looking for a date. <laughs> Itachi, yes, surely. Itachi got a fire. Oh boy, would I be honored. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what a giga chat. So obviously the first thing I did was throw more money in his face by like tipping the place right away. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if he was like, Hey, stupid. You paid too much. You know what? That's funny. Because like, I just recently saw a bunch of TikTok and Instagram reels of like people being dickheads and, and like what people working there wish they could say and it's so funny and like and like yeah i like it and i'm a strong supporter of yes all customer service should be passive aggressive you very much yeah if you dumb and waste everyone's time yeah i feel like i feel like they have the right to have and to have an attitude and show you the fuck up I think so. Some people, you, you don't understand, Chad. If you haven't worked there, you don't understand. But some people don't learn. They don't learn, bro. They don't. And then, like, I don't know. Some people don't learn, and then they just like. They have to be told, you know. They have to have that one-time experience of being an absolute fool, and being told the to fuck off. And just have that ruin their day completely to learn that they're not the only the people beacon around. Is lit. Gondor calls for aid. Stop! Leave my freaking beacon alone! <laughs> You're like, if there's no consequences and it's just like, okay, ma'am, sorry, ma'am, all right, ma'am. They don't learn! They'll do the same thing again tomorrow, if not the same day. You know. Oh my goodness, I think everyone who worked in the food industry knows this particular... These two things I hated the absolute fucking most and I wish I could have been passive aggressive about it. These two things. Number one... Hold up. <laughs> Number the one... waiters are legally allowed to smack customers who are being shitheads. Yes. The waiter's hands would hurt a lot at least twice a week. Absolutely. But, um, I think everyone who worked in the food industry at some point knows these two customers. Customer number one, who walks up the counter with like the biggest fucking attitude and then goes, I didn't want cheese on it. And I go, did you tell the person making the order? And they're like, yes, of course. I'm like toast intolerant. I cannot have the cheese. And I'm like, well, you see, if you told the waiter that you don't want cheese, then this isn't your fucking order, man. <laughs> There's five billion other people here. You just walked the fuck in. If I'm making a fucking order of cheese, it fucking isn't your fucking goddamn cheese fucking free order. <laughs> and I guarantee you, if they have to go through that once in their life, they will never do it again. They will never do it again. Never. Never. <laughs> never. Yeah, they have fucking main character syndrome. Do I really think that walking into like a fully packed place and literally just having placed on an order makes it that magically the next thing I'm preparing is automatically their item? Like, do you not see the 12 other people sitting around? Does it not make you wonder that maybe one of these people ordered something rather similar to yours? Without the very same instructions? <laughs> it's like, oh, they're just fucking living in the main... They, ha they have such huge main character syndrome. And then... Um... 
The other one that I've had in food biz, but I think you only really experience this if you're one of those people opening or closing. When you open or close the place and the doors are locked, let's just say the place says on the door, next to the door on the plaque, and on the door, on the glass, it says opens at 9 a.m. People at like 7.50 in the morning fucking go... On the door, trying to get in. And it's like, ma'am, do you, do you... And they like knock the fucking... They're like... I'm like, I'm like ma'am. But they're just like... And I'm like, Matt, oh, do you not see that it says 9 fucking a.m.? It's 7.50. I'm opening the place. <laughs> Chat smashing its face against the screen before your stream. <laughs> Lily, where are you? Lily, where are you? And it's so annoying. And they keep banging on the door, like, to the point where you cannot ignore them. You give them the... We're not... We're not open our look. You give them the... We're not open our look. And then you open the door, they push themselves in. They, they push you out. The, they open the door themselves. The second you unlock... Bah, open. And then they're like... Complaining that the door is closed. And I'm like, ma'am, we, we are closed. You have to leave. And they're like... No, don't worry, you won't even notice me. I will just do- I will just- You won't even notice- Honey, you- Oh, I fucking hate when customer- When, when I'm fucking customer call me. Honey, you won't even notice me. Love, love, honey, love, you won't even notice me. And then the first fucking thing they do is order like a fucking coffee or some fries or whatever the fucking- I'm like, what part of we open in an hour and a half do you not understand? What do you know? Fries where? The kitchen isn't even fucking at work yet. I'm setting up the tables. We don't even... I'm the only staff here. And then they're like, yeah, but honey, honey, love, honey, you can make a coffee. And I'm like, the coffee? I don't even have electricity. Oh my God. Speaking of like, they complain the fucking lights are dimmed. And I'm like, because we're not fucking open. I don't need the fucking lights. All I, all, the only place I need lights is behind the counter. Where I am preparing for the day. Where I am cutting fucking limes and lemons and whatever the fuck. And I'm making food and I'm preparing things. And I'm cutting onions and shit. That's the only place I need fucking light. <laughs> oh my god. And then the other place I looked at didn't have a door. Um, we actually closed, so it was an open mall. It was the place I worked at previously to that place. It didn't have a door. And so... Not even gonna lie, had many a talk with my people at work. A person in customer service should have the ability to pepper spray one customer a month. Or <laughs> cut down on the wild shenanigans. Yep, for sure. For sure. When it says it's closed, it's closed, honey! Honey, when say close, it close, honey. <laughs> oh, my first workplace also had a last seating period. Happens to me at GameStop when I would open. Like, sir, why the hell are you in a rush? You still gonna be trash at the game. <laughs> oh my fucking god, yes. I ain't your honey. I ain't your love. I ain't your buddy, and I ain't your friend. In fact, I'm your worst arch enemy. Now GTFO so before annoying. you catch hands or a cash register Right, like, let me clean in peace. Oh my fucking god. Been there, done that. Also had customers come in after the end of the shift going, you still open for food. Yes. The worst part is that so many customers didn't understand what last seating means. So we had this one place that was open till 10. And customers were allowed to be in, but till 11, right? 11 was when we had to um, throw them out genuinely 
because there's no longer be any customers allowed on it was in within a mall it wasn't like fields it's like a it's like a mall in in copenhagen it was in fields which is a mall and the entire upper floor is just like eating spaces but when the mall closes at x amount of time the only place people are allowed to is in the mall outside um outside uh like stores apart from this one i forgot what the store is called but there was this one 24 hour store in fields or probably still is who fucking knows but there's this one like 24 hour store so this is the only place it's allowed to have customers and that's it so by 10 o'clock no more new customers can come in customers who are still in the restaurant can still stay and finish up and everything but we are closing down the place we are like stopping the kitchen and everything right we can still make drinks and that's that's about it so um don't they close at 10 though isn't that what i just said yep oh yeah was it bilka was it called bilka there was a place it's um it's um it's like a different place, but maybe they changed it. But when I worked there a couple of years ago, that place, that like grocery store, it's massive. Um, it was 24 hours. So that was the only place allowed to have customers. Nothing else. Everything else is closed. The fun part working in IT support is I could get my revenge if people are dickheads. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> file you worked on for the last five hours and now it's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't. I couldn't save those files anymore. They just so corrupted. <laughs> I don't recall Bilka ever being open 24/7. I don't even know what was a fucking Bilka chat. It's been years since I've I've been there, and I'm like at a fucking sushi place upstairs. But we bought a lot of our supplies from that store <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> We literally just go to the store and buy stuff like our whipped cream, a bunch of like our veggies and whatnot. We don't get them shipped from some fancy place. Our staff runs downstairs and gets the fucking stuff there. <laughs> we just buy it there. <laughs> just a grocery store, but that one was 24 7. Because um, when I got off work, again, last seating is at 10. We close the stuff at 11. And sometimes when staff is still around, we eat and like, or just sit and chill in our own restaurant space for, to like 1am, 2am, and then sometimes we go shopping. Um, locally sourced. <laughs> Very nearby local. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so that place, that sushi bar, I worked, yeah, it was literally called sushi bar. I worked at, um, like, didn't have doors. So it just had a, like a, a fence with open segments where people could just walk in. So we blocked it off by putting chairs there and chains. Right? So we put two or three chairs there to block off the walking entrance. And then put a biggest chain there. What the fuck says we are no longer open like chairs and chains blocking the entranceway and no customers inside, only fucking staff eating. People will literally trespass. People will literally like move the chairs away. I'd stumble over the chairs. They will do They are so stubborn and incompetent. They will literally just like break in and we're like and as they're like freaking breaking in we're like sir we are closed and he's like well they are eating here and i'm like they like ob obviously i can't fucking say that but what i want to say my point is i should be allowed to say they oh you mean the people here in uniform with name cards eating on this one table together with me the person i just told you it's closed they oh shit i haven't maybe considered the fact that we are staff and we closed and we finally get to e fucking eat after we had to watch everyone else eat all day <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, the petty knows no bounds no like dadas 
Or like every time staff had One breaks? One time some people order food five minutes before the end of service, I was so pissed off that the customers gave me a 10 euro tips. The fear? The fear you will see on my face when 10 minutes before last seating customers walk in not even 10 fucking two minutes and i have to tell the kitchen that has cleaned all their appliances for the day turned everything off and is now standing there in normal civilian clothing with a cup of coffee that he has to go back to making food can you imagine the fear in my eyes when I see you walk in 10 minutes before closing? I have to be the person to tell Kitchen that they're not done yet and that all their work was for nothing. <laughs> I have to be that guy. I have to be that guy. <laughs> you know how scary that is? <laughs> Hey, I know you guys are closing at 9 p.m., but can I get two X steaks? Well done. Catch up on the side. Sweet potato fries and two side salads. Uh, to go. <laughs> I'm shitting bricks. <laughs> Why is the sassy German microscopic Babel Tower of a forehead or cut upset now? I zoned out <laughs> I zoned and out. just came back from <laughs> For work. For fuck's sake, why did you just Food? call me? Restaurant service. You were so close, but I can't stop staring at Nags. <laughs> Dude, the best part is when our boss left. Because our boss, he's not fucking working. Our boss is just sitting there monitoring us like a freaking. You know what I'm gonna say. What I'm, what I'm gonna say. But often, he does. He very often doesn't wanna stay until like the very last closing hours either. He wants to go home. It's fucking 11 p.m., bro. So, so many times, when it's like five minutes before closing and the kitchen sees them come in, they just go, I, mm -mm. I, I, mm -mm. And then we, <laughs> to, to me, to me, like, like the kitchen sees someone walking in there, just like to me, like, I, mm -mm. I, mm -mm. And then, and then I go to the customer and I'm like, I'm very sorry, sir, but we are closed. And then I would make some like sassy remarks about like how it's not closing time because I like, closed like it closes at ten, but it's five minutes. I'm like sorry, sir, but like it's been slow. It's ten o'clock. It's empty. We are done packing up. Those five minutes aren't gonna make. You've just lost your travel customer. I don't give a shit. I get paid the same. In fact, chances are that reopening all the appliances, reconnecting everything to electricity, and running this whole restaurant for a singular person fully staffed is so much more expensive than whatever the fuck you're gonna buy. You are out of your mind if you think that five minutes before closing, rebooting everything is cheaper than just letting you the fuck go forever. <laughs> Oh no, I'll hate when customers get replaced by 20 new faces the next day that I've never seen in my life in, 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 in within the first 10 minutes. What the fuck? That's so sad. Cry me a river, leave me alone. Mouth shift. <laughs> Not working. <laughs> we lost a customer that consistently shows up 5 minutes before closing. That's too fucking bad. You know what? what's also crazy? I saw it on a comment on, I don't know, YouTube. <laughs> Life was a blur. I saw it in a comment somewhere where someone said, you know what's funny? So many customers don't seem to understand that I will break an arm and a leg and go the extra mile if I'm met with a level of respect that makes me feel valued. And that is so true. <laughs> That is so true. Don't you know, Lily, that it's faster to switch to your side restaurant than reloading your main restaurant? <laughs> that customer is not a pro gamer, for sure. Not a pro gamer. <laughs> like, so many people do very inconvenient things in my past work life that I just so not, like, 
But they they meet me with a level of respect and gratitude. Did I gladly do it? We had two college graduations roll in before closing time. They broke into a huge fight and shattered the front 10 foot window. Got quite a bit of mandatory overtime that night. What? Fuck the fuck? Ah! What the f <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Jesus. Oh, yeah. I told the story also before already. Nothing new to long time watches that have that have spent many hours in this chat. But at my last workplace that I really enjoyed that closed down because of COVID. We had a back entrance and this dude literally thought that he could just come into the back. He realizes the front door is closed, locked and loaded. So he just comes through the back. He just walks through like staff entrance, sets off the alarm and everything. And I have to fucking sprint to the alarm to turn that bitch off because if I don't in within X amount of seconds, it will call the police automatically. <laughs> so he just he just comes onto the back, yeah. walks through no all the what, you've stuff. Got to get permission to enter the back door. <laughs> right? Like, what the fuck makes you think you can't just walk into the back, bro? Didn't phase him. Didn't he opens the door? So much shut this off. What oh, really? So much shut. <laughs> the customer is always right. Customer is always right. I swear right. the service here has gone downhill. <laughs> Fucking damn! What's that noise? He's like, damn, that's loud. It's like, oh. yeah, it's the fucking alarm. The intruder alarm for people who aren't supposed to fucking be here. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, what? what, what? <laughs> That's so fucking strange, bro. It's like, damn, you are the intruder. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Yeah, people are crazy when hungry. Had to call a customer that flashed hangry. a gun at my staff <laughs> before, like Pepe WTF. <laughs> Jesus fucking okay, I don't live in America. I thought so. that was the special customer alert alarm. I'm like the best customer <laughs> of the day or something. What do I win? Yeah, for sure. Some people are so dense, like I have again, I love that job. I still do. If streaming wouldn't work out from one day to another, that would probably be what I would go back to. But hopefully I could just open my own place and you bet your ass I'll be passive aggressive. I'm a strong believer of you will make good business if you get rid of like all the people that inconvenience you easily. I was strong believer that that if those disrespectful dickhead people come at you, you can you can just be like, man, this isn't your fucking order. Maybe it's a it's maybe it's wrong because it isn't your fucking order. You ever thought about that? <laughs> and then they either will come in the next day feeling stupid. And so you need to fuck down and being humbled. Or they will fuck off. Wow, what a loss. That person will never come again. And they will tell all their Karen friends. And they're like, <laughs> oh my, what a rude place. And like, oh my goodness, what a loss. I'm only left with good customers. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, enough yapping. Thank you so much for the day stream. I'll see you again in two days. I love you. Goodbye, chat. Have a great time. I know I will. I feel really good again. So, uh, yeah. I have two busy days. Really excited. I'll see you. I can't bye -bye. believe this stream is ending. I won't be coming back. I won't be coming back. Can't believe it. Bye-bye. Oh, Stupid.